Hello and welcome one and all back to another thrilling episode of Dimension 20 Live. Stay My name back. is Brennan Lee Mulligan. I'm your humble dungeon master. With me as always are our intrepid heroes. Say hi, intrepid heroes. Hi, hi intrepid, intrepid heroes. heroes. Oh, shucks, gang. Uh, well, do we have some fun news to you? First of all, a new little piece of merch in the merch store. Uh, we got uh, Fabian's School of Dancing. You gotta go check this out right away. Go check this out, dude. Uh, uh, go check this out. Uh, you can go find that uh, right away on our merch store uh, where we have that. Uh, load it up for you. Uh, the Fabian Seacaster School of Sheep Dancing. Use the code I Dance Now. That's the code you want to use when buying it. You guys heard it here. I Dance Now. Uh, all one word. You get any D20 sticker for free. Was it? Uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, which finally has a little vanity URL. It's just youtube.com slash dimension 20 show. Yes. Uh, make sure to go like, follow us on Instagram, also at Dimension 20 Show, uh, for a bunch of fun times. Uh, guys, last we left off, oh boy, did a bunch of fun stuff happen. Uh, so these are our intrepid heroes, the bad kids, teen adventurers from the Eggford Adventuring Academy, the World Aspires premier high school heroes who are on their spring break trying to retrieve the crown of the Nightmare King. Uh, their adventures have brought them all the way to the second level of hell, the Iron City of Dis, uh, where uh, uh, they've gone to uh, rescue Riz Gutgak's father, Pop Gutgak, uh, as part. Was it a joke I missed? I had to do the spiel. I never catch those oh, jokes. I'm so sorry. They it was pretending to play a violin. <laughs> no, no, it was I way know more specific than that. Um, so our intrepid heroes uh, flew on a pirate fleet through the skies of hell to rescue. Rescue Pop Gut Gag. Uh, Riz discovered that maybe his father was not a good father <laughs> after all. But at the last possible moment, he discovered that his dad was actually not who he appeared to be double again and was in fact an <laughs> undercover agent who uh, had a tractor beam shoot down from heaven, grabbed his son, and shot out of the plane of hell, leaving our rest of our intrepid heroes now in a sky fight, a dog fight in the middle of the sky uh, uh, on a pirate ship made of the slain carcass of their former vice principal. Guys, you can't make this stuff up. You can, we did. And uh, so we come back now to our intrepid heroes, or at least five of the six of them, in the skies over the Iron City of Dis. Guys. The, uh, the Goldenrod, the flagship of the Rebel Armada under Captain Phil Seacaster, twists around, uh, fiery rockets shoot up from the Iron City of Dis. Uh, we are in the skies of hell. Gray, sickening rain clouds thud down on you with a cold, soul-despairing rain as you see Hordes of devils fly up in the Iron City to all of Bill's many ships. You guys have just survived a huge sort of lair action where everyone was almost flung off the ship. Um, arriving back on the deck, Fig and Bill Seacaster arrive. You are holding a scroll that you sleight of handed oh, from Vraz the Means. Oh, yes. right. I got a scroll and baby stole something. <laughs> and baby stole something. What did baby steal? <laughs> yeah, uh, what baby st st stole some scraps and things that were not as good as what Fig stole, but <laughs> he did his absolute best. He goes, Mrs. I found this is, is some kind of to do list or a memo. Yeah, yeah, it's your receipt, baby. We're going to have to go to some market to try to steal it. Ah, she bought a side of fries! <laughs> um, you see, <laughs> she went one side of fries. Uh, you see that uh, uh, Retrot screams with glee. Uh, Bill, uh, who's fighting, looks up to the helm where Fabian is steering the golden rod. Yes. Um, and you see he says, Hi there, my boy! Steer us in the direction of your friend Riz! Aye, aye, papa! Wait, uh, Bill, I saved your life. So you owe me, right? That would be the pirate's code. No. <laughs> okay. Well, but what do you it want to happen? Be. All right. What I want to happen is that you don't kill Galir again. Oh! Listen, I had to kill Galir as a matter of course, but I love Galir. What? <laughs> Wait, oh, listen. Now, he's been killed once, I've been killed once, we're even. Galia says, I've been killed multiple times. <laughs> I can't open the door of the sarcophagus. Also, um, he didn't kill you. Fabian killed you. Well, Fabian killed me. I killed Galia. Galia kills Fabian. And then we're I'm sorry, what? Wait, what? 
What's going to happen? Under no circumstance will I attempt to kill young Master Seacaster. Oh, really, Galea? All right, okay. You get named the chosen one at the Hotel Cavalier, and now you have uh, intentions. I appreciate that you don't debate that he's the chosen one. I mean, of course he's the chosen one. <laughs> I was named the chosen one as a cruel joke by you. Please, I... I can feel myself running out of air. The he ambient heat from hell is heating up the sarcophagus, and the oxygen is being quickly depleted. I can I make a perception check to look hands. around before I open it, just because I don't want to open it and him immediately die again? OK, uh, you hesitate to look around and see if anything. Give me a perception check. Oh, okay. No, and I'm turning out. the ship around to head it back toward the ball. Yes, you are. Uh, perception, <laughs> that'll only be in 11. He passed out, didn't he? What's that? Sorry. <coughs> eleven. Oh, you got an eleven perception. You don't see anything coming. Um, you see two pirates grab the sarcophagus, load it, and begin to load it onto one of the police. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, you see that? Uh, uh, cool. Go ahead, and you have uh, one round to give me a strength check. Give me an acrobatic check to help open. Help! I'll, I'll, I'll help I, with I, my I, hands. I have advantage you on strength checks. Great. You're, cool. 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 Oh, you already have advantage. Uh, fourteen plus uh, athletics. Yeah. Twenty-three. Uh, and you lift the, uh, the lid opens up, the hand swoops Galeer out, they fire the sarcophagus, it blows up a pit fiend's chest, um, and you see that uh, uh, you begin to fly off. Ida lands on the deck of the ship, um, looks over at you, uh, Ada, standing next to you, Fig, and she says, uh, Riz is gone. What? Riz, Riz what? is gone from this plane. What? I can no longer scry on him. Where did he, where'd he go? He is either dead or is no longer here. Dead? Well, then we should go and look for his body or something. Uh, cool. Um, Fabian, go ahead and give me a dex plus proficiency roll with advantage. Oh, you know I'd love to give you that. Uh, we Ooh, can call baby. that uh, dex uh, uh, 23 plus uh, 5 equals 28. <laughs> Um, uh, you steer the golden horde, I'm oh, sorry, the golden rod yes. through the skies of hell. Uh, you hear from the front, uh, uh, Calvaxis yell out, are any of my former minions still on the deck? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Gorgon? Know, who is that? What? It's your minion. I don't usually do this. No, this is good. Actually, I'll disguise myself and say, yes, I am your minion. <laughs> um, minion. You see, <laughs> minion is still here. Your family which, minion. Which, <laughs> Which minion are you? I cast the friend's cantrip on him, so he believes them. <laughs> That's going to give you advantage on a persuade on a deception check. I actually already have advantage on deception. Oh, uh, then never mind. Uh, go ahead and give me a give me a deception check. Good grief. We should tell him this is all part of the plan, right? I got a one, but I also got a seventeen, which oh, means yeah. thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You see, he goes, oh, Francois, I can't believe you made it. <laughs> listen, listen to me very carefully. Listen, we don't have much time. Come to the front. There's a battle going on. This is your time. I've been turned against my will into a ship. Please, find a way to release me from this bondage and I will make you wealthy beyond your wildest imagination. What is your weak spot? <laughs> my what? <laughs> <laughs> my Fra what? Francois, uh, I just, maybe we could just see if he knows anything about the, the nightmare <laughs> I know, I just want to know where it hurts the most. Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> what do you know about the Nightmare King? Is that who we are going to meet with? What? No, listen, <laughs> I'm a boat. The priority now is to unboat me. Please, find a way. There's a, the Captain Seacaster is doing some kind of, and you see that two of the zombie pirates go throw a huge billowing thing of sailcloth and gag at Calvaxis as you guys continue to fly through the sky. Um, uh, you guys arrive at the building. Um, uh, you see that Sandra Lynn mounts up on Baxter and says, uh, says, Captain Seacaster, are we gonna, I don't think we can dock the ship. We need to have some kind of away party, right? Uh, no, we can dock the ship. Uh, can I drive it straight into the building? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you can. You see, Bill, who is now on the, pr like, the prowl, looks at the approaching building and says, my God, you're absolutely mad, boy! <laughs> Yes! Go on! And Bill is blasted away as you crush into the side of your building. Everyone here give me a Can dexterity. Can I grab oh, oh my god. god. A dexterity saving throw? 15! Oh, oh no! And my dex. You simply need oh. new dex. You need to re oh, your numbers. Listen. You simply oh. need new dex. <laughs> they got above a one and got below a zero. Yeah, I'm a negative Boy. one. Okay. Wow. 
Uh, Ida is going to instead give you a 16. Hey, thank you, Ida. Um, uh, uh, cool. Um, what did everyone roll? 15. 7. 15. 12. Just say it 16. I'm not there. 7. <laughs> cool. Um, um, okay. Uh, you got a with advantage, you got a seven? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on one oh second. Wow. We're coming to get you the ball! <laughs> and just, uh, just straight This is it. definitely worth it. If, uh, everyone else finds a way to hold on. <laughs> uh, all people. Wild, wild had, top of the app. If I had literally any way of magically communing with you guys, I would, but I don't. Stop. I am but a rogue. It's uh, been more than a minute, right? My my hand is gone. Thirty-five. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that you're dead inside this building. Forty-five. Thanks, I'm gonna revenge. kill the people who killed you with our boat. Do you, do you <laughs> stay <laughs> in hell, or do you go somewhere else? Hmm? If you die in hell, do you um, die in real life. Uh, so what did you get again? Fifteen. 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 You got sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, I'm not here, right? You're not here, that's right. Yeah. You guys got below 15, right? I got below 15, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, everyone else is the fine. You managed people. to hold on to things. Bill takes the full damage. Um, uh, Gorgug and Fabian each immediately take 52 points of damage. I'm uh, down. <laughs> I guess I'm, am I raging anymore? Um, uh, I don't think you are. Yeah. 52? 52 points. You, Damn. let me be clear, you crash the ship into a building. Okay. Bill takes all the damage and is fully fine. Galir also, not just down, but insta-dead. Uh, so Galir. Galir what? again? Again? You just crashed the ship at full Don't point speed. at me like this. Don't point at me like this. Galir! Uh, uh, and because Gorgug was making his save to also hold on to Galir, uh, you guys are partially sheathed into this building. Um, I, okay. I'm up. <laughs> what is Gorgug at? I, or Gorgug is at 20 health. Okay. Uh, okay, I can start casting some cure. Yeah, you guys, the ship crashes. A lot of the pirates die right away. <laughs> Bill is covered in rubble. Uh, Fabian holding onto the wheel, you go like over the handlebars on a bike, but over the helm, smash into the rubble of the building, are incapacitated it's at uh, zero hit points. Um, everyone else managed to hold on and not die. Uh, Galir's insta dead. You have, how many hit points are you at? 20. 20, okay. Because I took the full damage. I'm fine. Took full damage. <laughs> I'm just fine. fully fine. Um, I look up and I say, and I say, don't worry, it's worth it because Riz is in there and he needs us. <laughs> So, we gotta save Riz! I had to save my friend. Uh, uh, so, now, uh, uh, so, uh, Kristen, you stand up, um, you see uh, uh, Gleer is, is com you, you can spot him immediately, fully dead, crushed under rubble. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, Fabian is also unconscious amidst the rubble. Uh -huh. um, uh, I, can, I can go ahead and use a third level healing word on you, but that'll only bring you back for uh, 15. That's okay. okay. I, um, I could I could use a little heal. <laughs> yeah, great. Dude. Um, uh, but also, uh, uh, Galir is fully dead. Okay. Do you, you don't have a spell that maintains his corpse, right? Gentle so, repose. You don't have. That. I don't have gentle repose. Are Should you out of revivifies? No, no, I've revivified. Yeah. But I can also cure wounds to like cure a few people. Well, Maybe let's bring uh, Galir back because I think revivifies within a, a minute. minute. Last. Oh, you it's can only, only do it within one minute. It's, Okay, oh, yeah. Cool. So yeah. I revivify. Um... I'll pay for this one. Uh, Glear. <laughs> oh, God! The that, that building came out of nowhere! Uh, 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 you see that uh, these like devil zeppelins begin to come in. You see Bill looks to you and says, I hold the golden rod! You get your friend, boy! We don't have much time! Get in and get out! Smash and grab! Right, let's find the ball! Bill, does that count as Fabian killing Glear? We're all even! Wow. <laughs> Galea says, wasn't I supposed to kill? Never mind, never mind. Yes. Um, Everyone just kills cool. Galea. I killed Galea. I killed Galea. Who needs heals? I can try to heal us as we run in. We got I'm all Gorga. fucked up. I'm going to help you. Great. Uh, I'm OK. I mean, um, so I'm the, there's a like collapsed rubble in buildings, but you guys can rush into the building. Um, I think pretty much the whole crew rushes in. Um, uh, go ahead, whoever wants to, and make an investigation check. Can I can I roll for some healing on Gorgug and? Uh, you know what? Just go ahead and start rolling and tell people. Feel free to spend spell slots. Look, Nat twenty. Look. Nat twenty. Uh, Adine, you have a pure oracular vision. You know exactly where it is. You guys see, yeah, Adine does a whole. <laughs> um, and uh, Adine, uh, not the time. <laughs> oh. 
and did that. <laughs> uh, you guys sprint into the darkness of this dwelling place. 23. Um, as you do, you guys arrive uh, at this exact chamber. Um, you see uh, the chair, blood, uh, all of this. Um, you also see on the ground, partially opened, having clattered there, uh, a leather black briefcase with the initials TB on it. Uh, can I? Uh, it's the briefcase of holding, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I guess we'll pick it up. Uh, Adon or Ida, can you guys? Oh wait, you can't scry because he's on another planet. I also but don't we have find a body. Do you have and I, put, I don't have another fifth level can spell, I, and I don't have scry. Can stopped, I make an inside so check have on to the take briefcase? A rest. Uh, make an inside check for me. Yeah. Hmm. Can I also make an inside check? Yeah, go for it. I got a four. <laughs> Uh, Can I look for scratch? He's in the briefcase, isn't he? <laughs> I could do locate oh. creature, but I just saying that he's going to this plane. I got a 17. Um, you see oh, that- Oh, and you got a call. I got a call. Wow, um, that is so popular. Uh, you see that, um, uh, so what did you get in your- 17. Oh, 17. Uh, you look down at the briefcase. Uh, you know that there was a fight <clears throat> in here. You don't see the ball going down without leaving some bodies. All right. There's no bodies? No it's bodies in here. Bodies. There's no bodies. It's the fight going uh, on you right see, and, but you do see smears of blood, like things were dragged out of here. Can I but, uh, oh. investigate the blood to yeah. see if it's goblin blood? Um, sure. Go ahead and make a nature check. Yeah, can I taste it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll taste it as well. What's I'll it, taste it sulfur. too. Um, oh, sulfury? Yeah, sulfury. It tastes no, yeah, sulfur. Really, that's that's, it's, that's demon shit. blood. That's this is not the ball. <laughs> yeah, let me. Uh, <laughs> are we sure? Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's not that's demon blood for sure. Um, <laughs> I'm bleeding a lot. I should um, say as well. <laughs> so hurt. Guys, um, I don't think the ball is here. Okay, that's a good thing. Um, yes. Uh, Tracker casts detect evil and good, and she looks up and says, "It smells like celestial in here." Is what? The ball? Like an angel? angel? Yeah. I mean, meadow grass, honey, like a bright day. Hmm. He is a little angel. Uh, I mean, he is a little I guess angel. He's like, a very I've sweet boy. Metaphorically thought of him as I just yes. thought it was like a sweet little angel, like, oh like just is not he, like he's actually has he been an angel. hiding right? his angelic form from us this whole I wish time. I wish he knew he could tell us. Oh my that. god, that sweet good angel. boy. If the ball's an angel. Where, where do angels go? What's your question? Where do angels go? <laughs> yeah, the, the upper planes. Can we go? We have to find our little angel. I, Can we fly have, the ship do you have straight a plane up? Um, um, shift? Also, is it okay for an archdevil to go where to get an heaven? angel treads? You see that uh, Ida uh, looks up. Um, she is going to cast a spell as well. She looks and says, I cannot cast another plane shift today. Um, right. Uh, she says, uh, you see that she casts detect magic um, and looks around and goes, conjuration. Uh, you see, she goes, yes, this was uh, something in the conjuration school. Something, hmm. something was either summoned, banished, or teleported here. Hmm. They summoned his briefcase. Hmm. Doubtful. Can I check to see if there are like doors leading around or like if the blood <coughs> smear like drags out of the room? Uh, is this investigate? Mm -hmm. 13. Uh, the blood smears do indeed go out of the room. Um, uh, you guys uh, look around right now. Uh, from the look of this, there's no, there is virtually no, was there, yes. I'm so sorry, I can wait. Okay, uh, from the look of this, you know that something crazy happened here. You guys know that Riz is not a celestial. So something, oh. something wild happened. Can I take out my crystal? Yeah. And try to call Riz? <laughs> Uh, you do not get service in hell, oh. which is yeah. what a or fun thing. Want. We're in a in a like interrogation room. Can I run and see if there's any camera footage? 
Are there any like security cameras? Uh, uh, so with your 13, um, uh, actually, uh, go, go ahead and roll another investigate with advantage. Just a bit. Ooh, uh. Nat 20. Whoa. You know Are it. You? Yeah. you know it. Yeah, Nat 20. It was a Nat 20 and a yes. 17. Yes! You go you know next it. door and you see a little imp looking at a bunch of screens, <laughs> reviewing footage, and see literally. I ice him and I think that the footage is in the Yeah, you ice him? With what? I with the balls I, gun that was in the briefcase, maybe? There's not, you can pull eyes. another gun out of the briefcase, probably. But, Wonderful, um, that's what uh, I do. Uh, you Jesus see, uh, you ice this Kristen. imp, which is. See, Tracker goes. Sweetie, my hey, God! <laughs> um, all of you guys now. Of uh, also, you guys can hear the noise increasing out in the city of battle uh, combat. Ah, crap. Uh, probably, uh, probably get. Uh, uh, but you guys okay. all watch the scene of Riz, his dad, and bam, bam, putting the ear, and a celestial beam of light crashing through the roof, and both of them getting sucked up into the light, and the light disappears. What happens after that to like the bodies? Who moved? Yeah. Right. Why is the briefcase um, still there but the bodies are gone? Yeah. Uh, after it looks, it looks like the people came in and uh, dragged the bodies of the devils out of the room uh, to potentially like reanimate them or bring them back as new devils. Oh, the other devils. Uh, other devils. Who right. came in? Who came in to drag the bodies? Uh, two lemures that are just they would they're the like globby weird, very stupid devils that would not have thought to like investigate cool. a briefcase on the ground. Cool, okay. so let's take the briefcase. Yeah. Let's get the briefcase. And let's we gotta get the hell out of here. We gotta go. Sword, so. it, let's make sure that we don't lose his sword. Risk no sign of the sword or the okay. gun in there. Okay, okay. great. great. Um, cool, um, you guys rush back out to the ship. Um, you get back to the ship, uh, Bill is starting to look injured. He's having a great time, but as you arrive back, he's starting to start to look injured. Um, he looks at you and says, Ryden, you got your friend? No, but we know where he might be. The upper plane, where angels are. Ah! <laughs> well, I can't go there. Can how do I? we? How do we get out of here? Um. Uh. He said. You see, he looks at you and says, "says Well, the best I can do here is the astral plane. That's the only other place I can get to outside of the nine hells." Um. Uh. Fig, go ahead and give me uh, a uh, perception check with advantage. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nat 20. Hey. Oh shit. Um, so Bill says he can get you to the astral plane. <laughs> you also feel that scroll in your hand from Vraz glowing. Okay. Uh, um, one hand. You open it. Uh, it is a waiver of release that will recreate the doorway back to the Shrine of Thorns in Arbor Lake. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Make that? I don't, Make I mean, that. we definitely could do that, but does anyone else kind of want to go to the astral plane? No? Okay. I just feel like. I don't know what's on the astral plane. Is that any closer to the upper planes than, yeah. than I mean, our think, regular plane? We're still going to need to plane shift anyway, right? I yeah. mean, I mean if we, spells in, yeah, if we go Galea back, we can at least dying, rest. So, okay. yeah. Galea's been right. on by a thread, and I've maybe dumped like $40,000 into him. <laughs> right. Also, That's maybe just... we can go back and talk to the van and even maybe talk okay. to the van with us. Yeah, yeah, we can just All pull right. it. All right, I rip the scroll or whatever I do to it. <laughs> you rip it? <laughs> you rip it. Uh, the, the magic all fully fades from the destroyed scroll. No! Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you have a broken scroll oh, in front of you. I, yeah, I, I like it. how mending. You guys mending, the magic yeah. comes back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I thought, who I thought, is the What's your craziest thing? I'm, 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 this is what happens when you don't have to work. study magic. You're just uh, innately good at it. Just oozes uh, from you. Uh, you uh, invoke the seal. A flaming dwarf appears on the golden horde, uh, on the golden <laughs> rod. You see that uh, Calvaxis is wrenched out of there as Bill takes him back to the sky. Bill looks back and says, Back to the prime material then, in the world of Spire, is it? Aye, aye, Captain. We gotta put my pirate hat back on. Let's Ooh, start and there's a good pirate last. <laughs> we should ask Goldenrod a question or two before we I get know. out of here. I know, what do you want me to ask him? Because I wasn't there when you guys talked about this. Oh, cast Zone of Truth. Oh, yes, good I idea. I cast Zone of Truth over uh, Calvaxis. Ooh, baby, hold on zone one second. Zone of Truth on a boat. <laughs> on a natural three, yes. the Zone I mean, of Truth. Takes yes. place. Oh, good idea. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't have it. Tell, I don't have it. Stopped. Just give us everything you know on the Nightmare King. Uh, hold on one Is there second. Another, like name he might know. He might know the Nightmare King by or something. Yeah, something to do with his magic or the. Or yeah. anything oh, about your mom. I have a question. Okay. Oh, 
Because she was uh, So school. you see that Bill goes out and starts yelling a warning to his other ships and says, All right, lads, we've taken the spoils! Now, back to the Astro! <coughs> um, and you see that uh, Bill begins to take his fleet uh, and begins to head towards a part of the storm over Dis that has actual lightning in it. And you see that a whirl begins to appear as Bill focuses on it. And you see that he appears to be opening some kind of astral portal that he appears to be able to open for his fleet to like dip in and out of hell uh, to, to like get out of here to safe waters. Oh, my papa. Oh. Um, uh, I, I have a thought. And I don't, for, forgive me if we've already answered this, but, uh, Principal, <laughs> you see that uh, uh, Calvinus looks up and says, "Who is? Oh no, hey. not all of you." It's us again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you love to see it. Hey, yeah, I know all that, like to see it. all that stuff, <laughs> freshman year. <laughs> What's it? What, what do I love to see? You know. You know. Oh, is this some new sophomore year development? No, you have a crush no. on her. Yeah, is what you we, say. this is this is canon. I do no, I don't have. <laughs> You're in the zone of truth. You have, have to say it. it. Oh, he is in the zone of truth, right? You see, he says. I don't have a crush on anything. I just want to be rich. Okay, okay I don't think right. it's worth that. <laughs> Listen, yeah, check it. It's back. not sad. It's sad. great. Did it's any, great, and I'm great. <laughs> did anyone put you up to all that stuff you did our, our freshman year? Hey, Mr. Thistle Spring, why don't you go fuck yourself? No one put me up to. I was the boss. All right. So the Nightmare King wasn't the boss. No, so, I was the boss. So Adam's mom was working for you. What? Arielwyn, was she working for you then? When she was doing all that work for the Shadow Cat? Arianwen never worked for me. Aelwyn worked for me. Okay. But then what but, about all so that what stuff was she, with So all of the stuff that was going on about behind your back you didn't have any idea because you were being manipulated and you didn't even know about it? Wait, what? What do you mean I was manipulated? I was not manipulated. Look, the Nightmare King, I brought the Nightmare King back, okay? What? At when? When I went to go conquer the whole everything. Oh, like thousands of years ago. A couple, a couple of centuries, not of thousands, yeah. but uh, look, the important thing is this. Why am I saying all this? <laughs> um, look, the important thing is this. I, the Nightmare King is an older entity than I, but he agreed to be my lieutenant in exchange for a couple of favors, right? What favors? Those favors? I, I accepted this gift of a single coin. Mm -hmm. It was added to my hoard. And then he wanted me to uh, spread my wealth around, which I was not a fan of. But part of the, uh, the curse of his coin in my hoard meant that my wealth would always come back to me fivefold. So I started to invest and I learned about stocks and I learned about bonds and I learned about collateralized debt obligations. Did you ever buy anything like for fun? Buy anything for fun? No, I- Maybe Like a nice pair of shoes yeah. or- And then you no, sold like them on Oh no, I bought a lot of art them. objects because those actually accrue in value oh, and they're God. actually, no, it's they're- such a boring bad guy. Mm -hmm. I am not a boring bad guy. Boring. I like swing off and just kick him in the head. <laughs> oh, it's very easy to kick a boat in the head. Um, you see, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> um, uh, you see as you do that, Bill goes, Woo! That's right, me boy! Do some uh, pull-ups. Uh, you see that uh, Golden Horde says, <laughs> says, besides, it was, it was uh, the more I spread my wealth around, uh, the more the, the Nightmare King was able to cast his terrible magics upon wherever my wealth went. Why did you work with someone who was going to be so powerful and would inevitably betray you or become more powerful than you? The Nightmare King never betrayed me. Yeah, he did. When? All the time. You, you think you, some you magical forest guy is going to give you a coin and that's going to be good for you? Listen. You're dumb. That's rule 101, dude. Listen. Read a book. Oh, You're read a book. Oh, read a book. Read a book. I was not supposed to be a teacher. I was supposed to be a dragon. <laughs> I was made a teacher against my will. Well, yeah. We and now I'm a book. You were bad at it. You were bad at teaching. I was a pretty good vice principal. No. Do I have a picture of the picture? Since Ooh, the yes. ball yeah. is in here. Yeah. Uh, uh, you do the picture. Like, can I show it to him? Hey, what do you see in this photo? Huge dragon eye looking up as you're like leaning over him. I'm it's holding rain coming down. Thing. You're like, hey, the astral portal is like coming up in front of you. Um, you see, he says, <laughs> I don't see anything in there. Oh, is this about the, what is it? The shadow cat, whatever yes. that was? Yeah. yeah, do you see you her? See no, no, no. I didn't mess around with that thing at all. It says, look, the Nightmare King was a total creep. First of all, the guy never talked, ever. Never spoke. 
just would, you'd see him in visions, just this weird skeleton with a crown and dark robes, and you would kind of understand what he wanted on an intuitive level. Can he level. Like sit under a tree sometimes? Yeah, and so a lot of the dreams he did. But the important thing is this: the uh, uh, the I know the shadow the shadow cat put me in touch with Aylwin. Um but the night uh, Aylwin wasn't the Nightmare King's only uh, follower in Elmville. Mm-hmm. There Who was, else was? I actually don't know. The, they were kept secret because the only the only condition I could meet them on was if I allowed myself to be able to see the Shadow Cat, and I was like, "That's fine. I'm fine without." Man, being able you are to so it. easy to trick into doing stuff that you don't understand. I am not easy to trick. Aylwin <laughs> was right. You are stupid and easy to beat. Aylwin said that. Yes. She said I was very smart when we met. She's a liar. She's a really big liar. Yeah, she's wow. Very, very so they smart. they made you able to see the shadow cat, but you no, can't see it in this. I n- I didn't take the deal. I said stay oh. secret. But Aylwin was another follower of the Nightmare King, or a servant of the Shadow Cat. I don't know how it all works, but the point is this: the sh- Aylwin approached me, saying that the Shadow Cat had sent her. That's when I started to work on the Modify Memory spell with her. She joined with Penelope and Biz in your freshman year. Uh, The Shadow Cat uh, made the connection for her to join my conspiracy, uh, and thus was it done. Wow. Do we have any other questions? No. I think that answers everything. It says, uh, but listen, I, the Nightmare King didn't use me. When, after that coin, anyone who, I was able to give my wealth to, uh, the Nightmare King was able to ensorcel them from leagues away, from halfway across the world. It made me incredibly potent and powerful. Whoa. Very so. cool. So us spending all of your money that we got just made us vulnerable to the Nightmare King. Oh, you have all my money? Yeah. Well, most of it, because we spent some of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we're children. Yes, and I wish I had killed and eaten all of you. Interesting. <laughs> what can you tell us about the forest of Silver? I don't know. It's a big forest. I I let the Nightmare King have that, and I was conquering High Court and, and Solace and everywhere else. Damn. You'll never Ooh. be half the boat my van is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys surge through the astral portal with that. Woo! Uh, Write that and one down. How, That's good for um, our next Bill's album. ships fly after him into the astral realm, and from there, we are going to leave, uh, and we are going to cut over to a towering beam of light in darkness. Uh, Riz, uh, you feel completely weightless. Translucent, pearly light uh, surrounds you, and you feel wind in your hair, like you are shooting up. But you look around you, hell is gone. Um, You look out into endless vastness and see in the distance uh, of the darkness other beams of light and other things being rescued from all over the multiverse and shooting up. you are wrapped in your dad's arms. Uh, he is holding you so tight. <laughs> oh, um, angel. Oh. He's holding you so tight. Um, and uh, give me an insight check. Should've it's a natural it. one. <laughs> um, uh, you, it, there is, He's mad at me. Uh, there is, no, uh, if, if, if your dad lets go of you, you'll fly off oh, of here okay. and die. Um, you see, he's like holding you so tight, and you're like, oh, danger, there's danger. Um, uh, you think that your dad is maybe losing his grip on you. Uh, uh, hold him tighter. Uh, he holds you tighter as well, um, and you see that he begins to let go of you. God damn it. Wow! You seem like a problem you it's fixed by now. That's an angel. <laughs> um, you see that your dad begins to, uh, it feels like he's beginning to let go of you. Oh, easy, easy. Uh, oh. Kid. Yeah? It's okay. Uh, you're not one. Uh, your dad was not holding you tight because he was afraid of dropping you. He was holding you tight because he can't believe he's with you again. Right, yeah. He holds you off. Uh, you are arms length apart as he holds your shoulder. Uh, you see uh, tears at the corner of his eyes float off and fly up into the beam above him. 
as he just smiles with this look of disbelief, studying every inch of your face. I got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> Mom's gonna be pissed. She's gonna be so mad at me. Uh, you see this incredible like <laughs> mosaic halo behind his head. It's not like the little angel circle. It's like those saints things where it appears like a circle sort of behind him. Um, you see that a little mote of light appears in his ear. Um, and you see that he puts a thing up for a second as he does so. Um, you see that the little noise coming in over it uh, comes out and says, um, uh, coming in, Guck, we got you on the distraction. Are we clocking another body there with you? You see he puts his finger up and says, yep, I have uh, an interplanar prime material, good aligned, winks at you, possible CI. Um, you see uh, the voice comes over his thing saying, registering that, holy moly, Guck, is that? And you see he goes, my son. Um, you oh. see, he uh, brings you in close, gives you a kiss on the head. Um, you see that he takes your hat off just so that he can muss your hair up. You see, he says, how the hell did you find me? Uh, uh, it's compli- are you okay? How long were you in hell for? I've been better. <laughs> yeah. I've been better. God. He says, I, honestly though, maybe I haven't been. I <laughs> He looks at you and he goes, uh, he, uh, uh, he sort of is like crying disbelief. Um, you see, he looks and says, I, I, what were you doing in hell? Um, my friend was called to court because her dad is a devil and he's, hey. it's a spring break thing. It's a spring break thing. Um, you see, he says, Spring break. Okay, I think I got it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, the I kind of didn't want to bring down the mood right away. But the reason I know where you are is because the shadow cat Kalina told me. He looks at you. Um, you appear <laughs> in this blast of light, and as you appear, there's a flash of light, and for a moment, you can't see your father. Um, and as he begins to, he walks out of the light with you, um, you see he's wearing a nice, like, dark suit, a tie, he's like clean again. He's got a little bit of scruff, but he's got his thin mustache. He walks out of the light with you, and you know that way where if like a flash goes off, like vision starts to return at like the darkest colors you can see and blurry shapes, and it starts to sort of come out of the light. Um, you are standing on a grassy hill uh, in a landscape dotted with a babbling little stream. There's a tree, um, and you see that on top of the hill, uh, there is a gravestone. Um, and you see that uh, the little gravestone up there is a little bit uh, morbid at first, until you see that there is a little chair next to it, an old mug of what looks like coffee, a little rolled up newspaper. Um, and you see it's on the back side of it. And on the other side, uh, it says uh, Pop Kukak next to it. Huh. Is, you just like hang out at your grave? Uh, whenever you come, uh, whenever you, uh, I, whenever you come to talk to me, oh. I can hear you from this oh, side. Oh, shut up. Oh. Damn it. God damn it, Brandon. <laughs> what? what the hell, dude? Oh, I missed you, Dad. Oh, he oh, gives you a guy. huge hug. My guy, my guy, well, I gotta show you the place. Yeah, Look at my- Please, this is, we're in heaven. I feel like this is what not having anxiety is like. This is crazy. My heart is just beating like what I would assume a normal I, person's I heart beats know, at. kid, it's great here. Look, let me, let me introduce you to the gang. Um, there's a you, gang. He <laughs> takes you over the hillside <laughs> by a babbling brook. There's a huge big tree, one of those trees that's like, that is very tall, but is almost like twice as wide in its canopy as it is tall. There's like a lot of shade from it. Uh, there is a tire swing over a little cute river. There's a dock with some boats. And you see in this beautiful meadow with like kind of butterflies going from like place to place, you see that there is a, uh, a bunch of uh, rowboats, and there's also a collection of about 12 desks and a copy machine over in a corner and like a little coffee break room kind of place. Uh, you see that it looks like 
someone just brought the furniture of an office out into like the most beautiful streamside field in the world. Um, it's like a very bright day, uh, just the right temperature. It's like warm without being too warm and a cool breeze without being too cool. Um, you look out at this place and see other little paths leading off to uh, other hills and a little path through a forest somewhere. Um, and you see that at the various desks, uh, there's like a little receptionist desk at the front of this little just patch in the middle of this beautiful field. Uh, and you see that there is a knoll woman who is wearing like a little blazer pantsuit, talking to this huge minotaur in like a button up shirt with like a pocket protector and glasses who's speaking to her. Um, you see that a lot of them have like some badges hanging out of the front of their thing. It's just like a little heavenly, like, uh, secret agents? Secret office? agents office. Oh God Squad. God Squad. Um, uh, you start to walk up. Uh, and you see people look up, uh, you see the Minotaur looks up at first, it's a big shaggy red Minotaur, sees Pac approaching with you and goes, uh, Gokak, who, who do we have here, man? And you see he says, uh, this is my son, Riz. Uh, you see that they go, uh, the Knoll and the Minotaur both cover their mouths for a second and go, oh. No, I'm not dead, I don't, I'm you, not dead, right, Dad? You're not dead. Okay, good, and I'm not say, dead. They say, ah! Oh! You see, he says, oh man, the kid went in a planer. How about that? And in <laughs> sophomore year? Um, uh, you see, that your dad looks and says, I, I know everything about freshman year and all the adventures that I've told the whole gang. I kind of, um, you see there's a, a empty desk near here as people come over and start clapping you on the back. A lot of people are like kobolds and Sahuagin and various like kind of classically monstrous races. Right. Um, you see that uh, they start to come over, pat you on the back, say hello. Um, you see a little plaque up on the reception desk here uh, that says uh, the Lower Planar Reconnaissance Task Force. Um, and uh, you see on your dad's desk, uh, there is a photo of you and your mom. Um, you see that he walks over with you uh, and you see also a little, uh, like pen holder that says number one dad on it. Um, there is a uh, plaque and a mug here. Uh, you see, he points over to you and says, you know, end of last year, they awarded me this. Uh, and you see that there's a little polished plaque on the desk that says, uh, on behalf of the Association for Divine Wrath, please accept this memorial that your death at the hands of engraved specially Emperor of the Red Waste was avenged by engraved, your son, Riz Gutgak. Oh. Uh, I started to eat him like a goblin, but then they turned him into a boat. Uh, <laughs> I remember, you told me, I remember. Um, <laughs> he also has a little mug uh, on the thing. He says, they give you a mug too when you win this. Uh, and you see that the mug says, uh, don't even talk to me until my death's avenged. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so you see he looks over. Uh, and a uh, bunch of the other, you know, like detectives here, special agents start like clapping on the back. Yeah. You see, he goes, kid, I'm s I can't believe it. So wait, hold on. Clues first, then friends. What's going on? How did you find me? Um, so Kalina, the shadow cat, who said she was your partner, has been kind of stalking me with a weird plague disease. <laughs> And um, she's gotten into a lot of our friends' bodies too. And she, I don't know why she wanted you broken free, but she seems to have been tempting me by showing me where you were. Okay. Um, let's, yeah, um, let's go, uh, let's go to the, uh, the interrogation room and, and chat it out real quick. The interrogation room is just two chairs in a part of the field. Um, <laughs> and you see that he uh, walks over with you and sits down. Uh, you see he goes, okay, uh, we can figure this out. Um, so here's essentially what happened. First of all, what did you say? Did you say disease? It, it fe it's something that is getting passed along through our friends. What's something that's getting passed on through your friends? The shadow cat being able to see through us and being able to talk to us and us being able to see her. You see his eyes go wide. Was she not always like that? No, no kiddo, I think she was. Kid, you gotta know, the only things I'm up to date on from the prime material are, uh, I've been 
deep undercover since last summer. So I only know what you told me. Um, and other than that, it's all, okay. A disease. That's why detect magic would skip over. Because you wouldn't need detect magic, you would need detect poison and disease. Right. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Here's the issue. Um, I'll start to cover this with you here. Uh, timeline of this. I started first seeing Kalina about 22 years ago. Okay. I was a young agent. This was before I met your mom. Um, I got a disease. So you think I was infected? Yeah, I didn't. Uh, this is a weird conversation, Dad. Is <laughs> people have gotten it sexually? I start sweating so much. <laughs> they get it sexually from having sex, Dad. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey. Listen, listen, kid. I thought heaven fixed this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hey, you're yeah, sweating no, a lot. I'm cool. it's all right. Yeah, no, I'm good. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Listen. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so if she was a plague or a disease, it makes sense that contact would allow that to happen. Right. Um, I. I met your mom when I was 27 years old. Do you get what I'm saying? There were a lot of years where I was a young spy running around. Right, yeah. Before I knew your mom. I'm, I'm like 15, I don't know how old you are, I just know that you're old. Um, you, see, <laughs> you see, he says, uh, he says, well, I was 38 when I died, I'm, I, would, I would have been 44 if okay. I was still alive. Um, so was Kalina some, was she always, like incorporeal or was she a she didn't see i mean i shook her hand i could touch her you know um you remember though that kalina created the sensation of weight on your chest uh, you know and in the medical stuff that you studied she one of the places that they had that cat insignia in the old hieroglyphs was in the spine which would be able to create the illusion of tactile right. sensation um she says but i knew she, i she couldn't pick stuff up all the time. She, he says, okay, I'll, I'll just tell you everything that I know. I worked with Kalina without a problem for about 10 years. I got introduced to her from somebody that I already knew and trusted from the third ring. Do you know what the third ring is? Uh, it's part of the Court of Stars, it's part of Fallon L's government. Okay. When Solace and Fallon needed to work together, we would often collaborate and, and we were good partners. I knew that she couldn't get scried on. I knew that she had ways of finding things out that seemed borderline impossible but for the most part you know i chalked that up to being a good spy she had elven magic something else like that um and other people could see her and stuff we were spies kid we weren't talking right. to big rooms full of people most of the time i mean i didn't know that something was up for a long time we would have drop-offs meeting points we'd share information we'd do infiltrations together you know that's about it for, you know, and I didn't work with her all the time. My partner was when I was partnering with her specifically on something that was of national importance to Fallon L and Solace. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we spent all the time in the world together. Why? She's, I don't know if she's, I, do you know what she's doing? You see, he says, Well, you, you seem to have found out more about her than I knew. We never knew that she was a disease. What I knew, eventually what blew her cover was this. Whatever she is, she doesn't have a godlike intelligence or, or anything like that. She slipped up. We were on a mission one time, and she said that she remembered something that she couldn't remember. We were in an ancient ruin, and just conversationally, she let slip something, something like, I remember when this ri a river went through here. A river going through a place is an order of geographical time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an offhand thing, and I didn't react, but I also knew that she had ways of knowing things she couldn't know, mm -hmm. so I couldn't move against her, not overtly, 
I would tip my hand. So I ended up going to a group outside of the government to try to find her. This was around the time Kalina pulled strings to get your mom the detective promotion in Elmville. She always had an interest in Arthur Eggfort and specifically Golden Horde as well. So when did she turn, when did she turn evil? I don't know how she knew. She, I was so careful and I went to this outside of, I went outside the Foreign Service, I went outside the Council of Chosen. I knew I couldn't go through the government to try to find out about her. And somehow she found out and she burnt me. Kalina was the one. When I died, I was down in the harbors in Bastion City and Golden Horde showed up. Now, part of Golden Horde's deal with Eggford or whatever was that thing you mentioned, you know, he said to you about he could kill people if they weren't Salesian citizens and foreign service agents weren't Salesian citizens. That's a load of bull. I had citizenship when I worked for the Foreign Service. It was revoked. Someone put me on a list of enemies of the state and got my citizenship taken away, which was how Golden Horde was able to kill me. I, look, Golden Horde's the one that killed me, but I think Kalina somehow found out that I was gunning for her to try to figure out what she was. And I think that she pulled some strings in the gov government of Solace to get me burnt. Wow. Why is, she, why is she so interested in our family? Why would she help mom? <sighs> the only time she ever helped your mom, give me an insight check. Um, 15. Your dad says, well, we were living in an apartment in Bastion City, and then we had to move to Elmville because your mom got that promotion, which is what put us in the same town as, and you realize, uh, Sklanda having to move to Elmville, getting a job in the police department there, meant that Pock and Sklanda were living in the same town as Arthur Eggfort who had the crown of the Nightmare King in his office. Huh. So what is, do you know what she wants with the crown of the Nightmare King? Wish I did, kid. I, he looks and says, I don't know that I or your mom were special. I think we were a way in. If you're saying that she has to ride other people to be able to get places, you know, I stopped seeing her as much up until we went to Elmville, but she did have a bad sense of humor around, there was, I remember one time she said a weird thing about a blood drive at the Foreign Service. There was another time where she tried to I don't know, it, it, she was always careful about it. She was good, but there, she pushed her luck sometimes. Joked about me being unfaithful to your mom or, uh, I don't know that we were special. I think that we were maybe, her, if she was a disease, her closest shot right. to getting to the crown. Did she have any connection to Sandra Lynn or did you guys back in the day? Sandra Lynn? I, uh, this is uh, Fig's mom, right? Yeah. I didn't know Sandra Lynn when I was alive. Um, out of character, she, she was one of the original people who could see it, right, before any of the, okay. But she's only been able to see it in the last three years. Right. Right. Wait, how do we know that? He says, I knew that, I knew that she was partially incorporeal, or I knew that she, some stuff she, she couldn't do when I took that photo of her. She was really careful about not letting people take pictures of her. Yeah. And there was a mixer, there was a party at the, at the service, and she showed up and I asked someone to snap a shot. The person was confused. I didn't clock it at the moment as being anything strange. Yeah, for whatever reason, the 
when we first started on this quest to try to find the Nightmare King's crown, the only people that could see Kalina in the picture were me, Mom, and Sandra Lynn. That's interesting. The photo. It's interesting, after I took that photo of her, Kalina used to be able to do some really impressive illusion magic when we were running around and doing stuff. I saw her do some impressive stuff. She stopped being, that, that, after that photo, she, some of her illusory capabilities were lessened a little bit. I don't know what that means, but. Um, There's something. I remember he says, he says, I started looking up some stuff in the service though about her. I looked up this thing about this Landron Lear. And you right. remember seeing your dad's, that's the stuff that Ar Ariana's right. research was about. Um, yeah, I guess I fill my dad in too about the stuff we found about the god with no name and things like that. And I don't know if, if you're able to take pictures of her and it takes her power away or something, is, is she the god with no name? And if we make her real, then she becomes less powerful or something. I don't... Um, you see... He goes, I'm not sure. Uh, give me a medicine check. Nine. Cool. Um, you're not certain why the photo would have weakened her. Mm -hmm. but some, you're, you're like, you're noodling on it. You're trying to think of why maybe. So your dad says, yeah, the timeline for me is, again, met her when I was 22, worked with her for a long time, but after working with her for about 10 years, you guys had she, sex? She... Did you guys have... <laughs> oh, a lot of my friends are into having sex and stuff. And <laughs> if you did, that's fine. Because you guys, people have sex, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Dad. People, people look up, man. <laughs> Your dad kind of steeples his fingers and really looks at you for a second and goes, huh. Riz, are you, you're, you're... Sophomore year, yeah, I, mean, I hear that. Do you, do you, have you, you don't talk about it when you come and talk to me, but have you ever uh, hooked up yourself? Had sex? <laughs> you can tell me. Uh, n no, no. It's okay. Yeah. You see, he he looks up and says, I was, if you're concerned about this, I was always faith faithful to your mother. Cool. Before I met Sklanda, I was extremely not faithful <laughs> for many years. And then I met the person that, uh, without grossing you out, put all the rest in the past. Cool. I guess just from, so I can figure out, because this is a weird thing because I'm a detective, but also I'm your son, I just really need to know if you had sex with this person. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, you're trying to, you're, you think I was infected. Yes. And so you're trying to figure out when that would have happened. I mean, the answer is it could have happened in a lot of different times <gasps> prior to. Um, it was a different. Uh, it was a different era back then. I, oh boy! Uh, it's out. <laughs> no, no, so no. Says, I, I wasn't. When I was very young, I was not as careful as I could have been. I do sure. regret that. Oh, but I, I, I went to the doctor. You know, we oh, had all that. Holy. We had all that taken care of. Right. Um, cool, Dad. You see, he says, uh, but he goes, there could have been any number of, it's like, is it, it sounds like it she's a disease. A, There's a million other ways. blood transfusion, many other. He says, he says, you know, there was this, he goes to, he walks over to his desk away from the interrogation room with you and begins to look through some things some of his records, he was like, the first time I encountered the third ring, I was 22, it was one of my first missions. 
I was in this old fortress called Akarian, which is in Thalinel somewhere, and I was in a I was in a firefight in this old fortress of the third ring and I busted into the, through this secret door and there was this old cobwebbed place up and I remember finding a shelf full of potions there that had some old healing potions. I don't know. It was shortly after that that I met Kalina for the first time. I'm trying to remember if there would have been any other thing that would have happened. I don't think so. Do you know that is it possible to get this, to get this illness, this plague, in other ways? I, if, if she was- You a, remember the life transference that- Yeah, yeah it was, <clears throat> yeah, it was through a, a spell. It says, I think there might be more than one way to get this, kiddo. I think this is a, I think this is a general plague. I don't think this is necessarily- A sex plague? A s <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's- I think sex is a scandalous <laughs> subject, and so that might draw your attention. Right, but yeah. I think it might be a more general disease. Got it. <laughs> we don't have to talk about sex anymore. <laughs> if you have any questions, I actively you, don't want to talk about it. The last time I was able to talk to you, you were nine years old. You've grown up a lot, kiddo. I, I, I really miss you. I, I miss you too, Dan. And I'm... You can t This is okay to talk for a father and a son. I missed all of puberty. Maybe not all, but I missed a lot of it. Yeah. Um, I don't... I don't know. I just don't... It, it just isn't happening yet. Like, not, not even just the act is not happening yet. Like, me wanting to do it. It's not happening. It's not happening yet. And my friends are all like... Super horny. Oh yeah, that that cool. checks out. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, kiddo, if it never happens, that's also okay. There's a lot to life to enjoy, and I already know that you matter a lot to your friends and a lot to your family. So you know. If you never end up having those desires, that's completely okay, bud. And You're killing me in this episode. <laughs> uh, you see, he says, he says, but if you, it's also okay if it doesn't happen for years, you know? That's also fine. You, you're your own person. It's going to happen in your own time or not. And either way is a-okay, bud. I... Won't lie, you know, I know that me and your mom would love to see some grandkids, but that doesn't have to have, that has nothing to do with procreation. That can happen a lot of other ways. Right. Selfish, I know, but would love that gag name to continue. We've got to have another little young one scrambling around looking for blocks under the sofa. You see, he, uh, he looks at you and says, I also want to show you this. He opens up his desk. He says, this is my senior year yearbook photo. And he holds up a photo. Your dad ha is in a like uh, short sleeve, like plaid shirt with like wavy hair in a middle part, <laughs> huge braces all over his teeth, <laughs> making a face like, <laughs> like triple chin, like snag with back. Riz with zero self-awareness. Dad, you were a dork. <laughs> Snatches it back. I know what I was, all right? Look, the gut gacks bloom if and when they bloom, and that's fine. And if you're like your old man, you will bloom in junior year of college. But, wow. <laughs> But after that, right. if I haven't already made it clear, no, I mean, we were off to the races. Yes. <laughs> I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, this is, Dad, this is amazing. You're a, you're everything I could have ever wanted you to be. You're in heaven and you choose to leave to do your job. It's, it's beautiful. I love you so much, kid. I love you, Dad. You know, there's
there's something I always think about, which is that um, I, I didn't get all the years with you that um, I wanted, and I didn't get the years with you that I would have wanted to give you and your mom. And uh, my old man said something to me when I was a youngster, and I'll, I'll pass it on to you, which is, you know, people show love in different ways. They hug, they kiss, they say sweet things to each other. And I didn't have a close relationship with my dad. He was a very distant guy. Um, you know, he was first generation in solace. He, he, his parents were goblins out in the mountains of chaos. And he, uh, I didn't get along with him. He was always off working, you know, he was a, a beat cop in Bastion City, he was gone all the time, didn't have many kind words to say. And I remember when I was an adult, I uh, found his, this locket when he was an older guy, and it had a picture of me and your aunts and your uncle in it, and uh, he just... When he was older and he was sick, he told me that he loved me. And he said, it was hard for him to say it with words, but he never had a hard time saying it with actions. And every time he walked in that street to bring home a little bit of cash for us, keep us fed, and keep a roof over our head. And when I went out on those missions, I thought about the same thing a lot. Work is an act of love. And just because you're a little anxious, you get a little flop sweat, I know, and I think your mom knows, and I think your friends know, that you staying up with your boards at night trying to crack the case, you don't do that because you don't care about people. That's you saying I love you to the people that matter to you most. Thanks, Dad. Gives you a kiss on the head. Um, you see he f looks and says, so after I was dead, I found out what heaven already knew about Kalina, which was everything to do with we didn't know if she was a disease. You cracked that open for us literally right now. But we knew that she was a servant of the Nightmare King. So we spent about two months putting up a cover for me and got my soul down to hell because we basically went, most demons are able to see Kalina. The, the abyss, just the disease is, I guess, spread through. Devils have been able to keep her at bay really well, and we wanted to find out why what their wards were. So I was gonna go deep undercover, which is what I do here on the task force. We go down into the lower plains, we disguise ourselves as, as petitioners, and we do work for the celestial planes, you know? As long as we can keep the abyss and the nine hells fighting each other, war doesn't come to the upper planes. And eventually, what ended up happening was, um, we got down, but I, my entry point was this place called the Bottomless Pit in the Nine Hells. And I got basically trapped there for a long time. It was like nobody knew that I was there. It was just like there was, they were like gummed up, the work was gummed up, someone wasn't doing the job they were supposed to be doing. And right, that, that's Gor Gorthalax Fig's dad is oh, was captured. Fig's biological dad, gotcha. Right. Um, and Gorthalax, you, would Riz have mentioned to his dad that Gorthalax and his mom had been, when you, when you like visit your dad's grave, do you think you would have mentioned Gorthalax and your mom? <laughs> I think, I think maybe not. I, I think this was Riz legitimately just like slipping up and then just thinking that he's never brought it up. Cool. Says, yeah, there was this big pit fiend there. He was wearing a, <laughs> He was wearing a whistle around his neck, and it was like he was going through like a backlog of all the souls he hadn't processed. There was some other, there was this, this devil woman yelling at him. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he, 
Uh, is dating mom? Gorthalax? Fig's dad is dating your mom? Yeah. Ooh. He's in a gem right now, but he's a really nice guy. He's a really nice guy. Uh, hey, you've, you've described him before. He sounds like a really nice guy. Um, good for your mom. No, I, hey, um, good. it's okay. Yeah, I know. I didn't mean to bring it up. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't want to. I didn't want to lie to you by omitting anything. Hey. He's that. always getting trapped in gems. It's <laughs> kind of pathetic. <laughs> if I'm like devil who always gets trapped in a gem or <laughs> undercover angel dad, uh, undercover angel dad, so he has sex. <laughs> Tell him how his daughter trapped him in a gem. <laughs> yeah, his fig trapped him in a gem. You see, he says, got it. Look, he seems like, <laughs> he, says, he says, he seems like a great guy. Kid. We don't have to talk about how great he got. He's fine. <laughs> okay. I'm not one of those kids. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. I, it uh, was just a weird way to bring it up. He says, in any case, um, uh, he says, yeah, he pulled me out and then passed me up the chain of command, which is how I ended up in that interrogation room. Right. How did you find me? Kalina. Kalina showed me. How did Kalina know I was there? If she can tap into my system, she can tap into yours and maybe tap into heaven. She, you see, he shakes his head and says, she might be able to tap into yours right now, but he looks at you and says, I, this is not my body, kid. My body was eaten by right. your old vice principal. Says, I got a new body when I showed up here. You see, um, he, uh, he looks at you and says, he says, when, when did this, what do you know the extent of Kalina's abilities are? I know that she can, if you have the disease, she can see through your eyes. Mm -hmm. She can affect your spine in some way. She was able to paralyze me one time. Um, she can, it's, she cannot get into your thoughts. And she can only inhabit can, one person at a time. She can get into your eyes though, right? Yeah. I'm not asking this because I'm upset. I'm asking this because we gotta crack the case. Mm -hmm. When did your mom and Gorthalax start dating? Um, right after freshman year. So, end of summer last year, Gorthalax pulls me out of a chain of captured souls in the bottomless pit, and he's been dating your mom for a couple months at that point. So that's how Kalina saw me. Did Kalina tell you to come rescue me? It was more just like dangling a carrot in front of me. She was trying to prove that she was my friend, essentially. Or she was trying to get you to come rescue me so that I would blow my cover. Yeah. She's good. Yeah, she's the worst, Dad. I realized that after I died. <laughs> Do you have any contact with your, do you know where your body is? I would assume, well, you should know that my body was incinerated. Right. So, I, anything that your, prince, your vice principal would have eaten would have been ash. Okay. Uh, you see, he looks and says, <sighs> okay. You have a lot to do. Hopefully some of this has been helpful or informative so you at least understand the timeline. Kiddo, I gotta ask you something. 
you, you were asking if I slept with Kalina. Do you know that she has ever been real? I, I don't. That photo. Um, you see, he looks at you and says, all right, I think we've covered about everything I know about Kalina. Is there anything else, any other questions I can answer for you? Yeah. Um, after I go back, is there any way for me to see you again? Um, short of some pretty powerful magic? I don't think so, bud. All right. Well, I've got some pretty powerful friends, so. Oh, You're damn right, kid. Oh. Um, you see, he looks at you and says, how do you feel about, uh, how old are you now? You're 16 now? Yeah. That's old enough to do part-time work, right? I, I, I do overtime work, Dad. <laughs> I don't sleep. <laughs> okay, you see, he looks over and he says, Mike, can we get some part-time start form for the kid here? We're gonna hire a consultant. <laughs> um, uh, we are gonna cut back to uh, the astral plane. Um, you guys are on the golden rod, uh, hovering in like empty kind of astral space. Um, uh, what do you guys do as you come through? You finish talking to Calvaxis, you are back on the ship. Wow. I thought we were going back to the yes. hang there. Are we using the... Yeah. You just want to go back yeah. to Arbor Yeah. Cool. Do you want to so, say I mean, unless there's anything here that's obviously... Idea, yeah. I mean, of course I'm going to give my papa a big hug before we depart, yeah. but oh. uh, I mean, that's last can, orders. Can I look through the like piles of like holy relics to see if I can get like some holy oil or anything like that, like or any like? Oh sure, you guys, if you guys want to just throw some holy water on your on your stuff, go for it. Yeah. Okay. Can, um, I, can I put holy water on my stuff as an arch devil? Uh, as long, long as you don't touch me? it. Whoa. Okay. Gorgon, will yeah, you do an investigation check? Uh yeah, do an investigation check. Pile of holy stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh okay, that's a twenty-one. 21, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, uh, you um, look over and see huge crates of all the stuff that the pirates stole from Dis and also stuff that the pirates stole from the bottomless pit. Um, uh, as you open under 21, um, you see, uh, even though it is months ahead of time, uh, a pre-wrapped birthday gift for Fig from oh. Gorthalax. Oh. Uh, sorry, not this. This. Oh. And it's a very conspicuous <laughs> shape. My, my mind is two to strength. <laughs> it's not. I, I'll take it. <laughs> I, I feel like I should wait for him to open it. it also I feel feels... like he'd probably want you to open it. I just want to see what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I can pass to take magic on it if you like. It's I feel a like I don't deserve this. I put him in a gem and now I'm just going to get you presents. But what if it helps you get him out of a gem? Yeah. So, yes. Hey, you're good. Save the paper. Save the paper. Save the paper. Ooh. Um, uh, Ooh, what you <laughs> unwrap it. Save the paper. Um, <laughs> Classic Ash. Oh, Ash, I. We can always get more paper. No, it's really nice. Maybe you maybe. unwrap this thing. <laughs> you see the sickest bass guitar, like devil horns on the top, four bright ruby red strings. Uh, the, like even though it's electric, it has like where the hole would be in an acoustic. A like fanged maw is there. This just like devilish scaled fucking bass. Uh, and you see that there is like a, a little like place for like a wah wah or whatever, wah -wah a little wah wah pedal. And you see next to that there is a little just one of those little like antenna switches, very short and stubby, mm -hmm. um, that says um, automatically shatter nearby rubies. Don't automatically shatter nearby rubies. What? Um, I switch it to automatically shatter nearby rubies, and I take it for its first spin. Uh, one of the nearby pirates has a thing on his belt explode and shoot, and the, the shrapnel goes in his leg. Damn it! Falls over. He's dead. <laughs> 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 
Um, you see, Bill goes, ooh, that'd be a stately bass lass. I agree. My dad um, knows me well, one of them. Um, you see, <laughs> both of them, both of them do. I'm just saying, Galeer didn't hear that, right? Galeer, uh, what did you get her for her birthday? Oh it's not God. your birthday yet. <laughs> I know. Right? Yeah. Gothalax yeah. already got, I already got you something as well. Really? Um, what is it, Galeer? Do you have an audience? It would, it would ruin the surprise. <laughs> also, I'm still saving up for it. Oh, <laughs> oh nothing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The kitchen of my apartment got termites and also some nearby buildings that my landlord decided <laughs> oh, to charge yeah. me for as well. So <laughs> we're sort of hand? strapped Wait, at the moment. Can I slide aren't, you, aren't you in Fabian's pocket? garage? Yes. Aren't you living in Fabian's garage? Oh, I'm not allowed to break my lease. My landlord's adult <laughs> son threatened to kick my ass. What? Why don't you tell me, Galea? I'll go kick his ass. I think it's you. would you. do that. Wait. No. <laughs> I mean, now I would. Then I probably wouldn't have. But when we get back, I'll, I'll kick that adult son's ass. I pull a like, lemon yogurt out of my uh, jacket. Incredible. And um, you, see, uh, you see that Bill walks Sir strides uh, across the deck, claps a hand on Galea's back and says, Galeer, my boy, you're a fine man, and I can see by the eyes of your daughter that you are well and truly loved, and I see that my boy will take care of you as well. And you know the tender touch of Hilaria, the most beautiful woman in the world. Take good care of her, Galeer. And if any man looks askance at her, you slit his throat, or I will slit yours. What about if any woman looks askance at her? <laughs> Dealer's choice. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> you see, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you see that Galea says, "I already know what this dealer shall choose." Um, <laughs> you see, Bill says, "We are alike, you and I, in so many ways." And Galea goes, "What?" I see it. I see it. I you do. see. He says, he says, Valir, really. <laughs> you see, he says, I, I wish for nothing more than for you to make an honest woman of Hilaria. Let us talk, I'll try to tell you as much as I know about how to make her happy. Um, and you see, he says, uh, and you see, he says, now, what she absolutely loves is chaos, chaos in the house. Um, and you see, Galeer says, help, and he starts to <laughs> march across the desk, uh, the deck of the ship. Um, uh, for the rest of you, so you see this insane uh, devilish base uh, there, um, you see that uh, the base looks like reinforced on the back with like cast iron. Um, and you see that there are some like horns on the side that you think might be ornamental. And then you realize are partially serrated. This is like for swinging at people as much as it is for playing music. <laughs> uh, um, I tried it out on Gorgag. <laughs> he's not raging and he's a 20 AC. I die. <laughs> 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 Clean cut off. Yeah. We're out of room in my diamonds. Um, okay. Um, so, do you guys have any other business on that? You get that cool. That's like the coolest thing you find. The rest you find some like vials of holy water and stuff like okay. that. Um, uh, so, uh, do you guys open the door back to Arborly and get out of there? Let's get the hell out of yeah, here. Yeah, I think so. I yeah. want to give my papa a big hug. Um, you go give your papa a big Can hug. Can I look for some, like, uh, do a religion check for some paintings of people? I'm just collecting art now. Yeah, sure, get a religion check. Told, him I told you to. <laughs> that is a 24. Um, you get a nice little painting of a saint that is smashed to bits because it was about to be fired out of a cannon at somebody. That's actually like fine art, which is like very rad right yeah, now. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah it's like um, a statement. Uh, like uh, like you see that Galeer yeah. comes back it's looking Bohemian. truly yeah. rattled. Sandra Lynn oh. kind of furrows her brow and steers him away from Bill for a second as Bill looks over at you, Fabian. Good to see you. I don't know if I've ever seen the likes of it, my boy. You're gonna put them all to shame. Who? Who are all of them? All? Who is all? Anyone that crosses your path. Oh, yes, very much so. You see, he says, my praise you don't need. Your name is being written, boy. And I can't wait to see it finished. I'm off to be a man, boy, all on my own. <laughs> the ember, <laughs> fiery. Oh. My own, his darling man, boy. <laughs> one, one more hug. He says, there'll be one for you waiting here. 
any time you come to hell. Run! Ow! Ow! Ah! 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 Son! Ah! Oh, this hurts. Uh. Um, and uh, he sends you back through Arbor Lane. He says, best of luck on your quest. And if I ever see you again, you're all dead. Oh. Okay. Uh, hey, nice Rosalie to see you the, too, Mr. Seek. We'll go to the bottomless pit for me. <laughs> look over it, I will, lass. Um, oh, do you have any wizards with you? Wizards? Yes. None. Wait, Bam. should I get some? Yes. I'll try. Oh, and I'm going to go to the Inn of the Infinite in the Astral Plane and sell off a lot of this treasure. Most of it I stole from you, so I'll cut you in 50-50. Okay, I wasn't even going to ask, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> to war! Or to market! But then to war! Okay, oh. bye. I love, love you. Unfurl the scroll, walk back into Arborly. Uh, you guys are back in front of Holly Hill uh, with the hangman here. Wow. Okay. Oh, and can I have wheeled the hang, uh, like the corp or the the bike back with us? Yes. This is not as bad as it was before. Yeah. So can... A quick mending from your wax. And oh, I can, yeah. I can yeah, we'll get it back. Um, uh, this is um, maybe can wait for later, but I'll say it now. <laughs> uh, I try to get us away from Galir. Um. So like, he's the chosen one. He's the chosen one, mm. for sure. <laughs> he kind of keeps dying. Yeah. I, mean, I wonder if there's, it's just maybe better for him if we. Just leave him here. I don't, yeah, can, I don't think we can him. take him to the Nightmare King forest, right? No, for I sure not. So I mean, Sandralin speaks so. Sylvan. He's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, of course he doesn't want to go. Maybe the chosen one goes home. Yeah, That's maybe his... the choice is to leave mm -hmm. and not can just die every five minutes. I, I mean, everyone knows that I'm, I'm pro Galir being there because I feel like he's part of also, the Also, is this we... cho chosen one thing a bit? Because I really don't understand. Oh, no, I mean, there was a moment at the Hotel Cavalier where a bunch of demons <laughs> ran past me to attack Galir. <laughs> oh, me, a clear yeah. offensive threat, attacking yeah. Galir. Uh, there's something special about him. Mm -hmm. um, he was right, that's amazing. why you think he's the chosen one. Yeah. That's why I know he's the chosen yeah, one. Yeah, that's why we all know that he's the chosen yeah. one. Okay. Think is a strong word. Mm -hmm. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Yeah. Um, you see Sandra is over there. Um, uh, you see that Sandra and Galir are both talking. Um, as you walk over to go talk to them, um, you guys are over there with Rog, uh, Tracker, and you see that Ida looks over at you um, and goes, you were remarkable in that fight. I mean, not as good as you, but you know, oh. trying to put on a little bit of a show. You uh, eviscerated with powerful rock magic the uh, evil coach of your high school. Yeah, but you kind of like bent the battlefield to your will. That's a extremely evocative phrasing of that, and it makes me sound very cool when you say it that way. No, well, it was really cool. You're really cool. You're really cool. Wow. Ooh, I'm, yeah. I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack. Yeah, um, that's fine. That's cool. Um, you see, she says, um, I completed Plane Shift, and though we did it to come and rescue you, again, can't believe those devils would think to tangle with a wizard's paramour. That's foolishness. Uh, what's, a, what's a paramour? A paramour? Mm -hmm. A paramour is a, a, a lover. Mm. Is that... Oh, I meant to ask. I All of us are standing in a group like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are, wait, but you guys are. <laughs> you see. <laughs> oh my God! Can I? I guess greater invisibility. <laughs> uh, you see. Whoa! Uh, find them. <laughs> um, I just start casting fairy fire. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not see. gonna miss this. <laughs> Also, we can still eat you. Uh, um, you maybe we should go somewhere privately. <laughs> I have to talk to Galer at some point. Oh, for you a can really go. Let's go to a conversation. But uh, you see that uh, actually, your parents both come over. You see, Sandra Lynn and Galer are actually both smiling. Uh, you see, Sandra Lynn uh, looks over and says, uh, "So, as an elven ranger, I'm pretty keen of hearing." And Ida, I heard something you said on the deck oh. of the ship. Uh, we don't know where Ida and Fig went, actually. I <laughs> uh, see, Ida's away. not, doesn't have greater visibility <laughs> cast on her. She says, I actually don't have the spell slot, so I didn't like them. <laughs> you see, that, uh, that your I mom looks and says, and says, um, 
Haida, I know you live uh, in Leviathan, but are planning on maybe moving your library. Uh, we would love to have you over for dinner at Mordred Manor sometime. Oh. Uh, you see, Galir uh, Lewison says, uh, I, for one, am very glad to see that uh, you uh, have decided to spend some time with my daughter, Figaroth. Um, it is a incredible improvement over previous partners. If you were to chart it on a graph, <laughs> okay, it's um, a pretty incredible I grab spike. Ida and I say, Ida, I made a promise to myself I wasn't gonna skateboard away from you anymore, so you have to come with me. And I grab her on my skateboard and we both skateboard away <laughs> from the situation. You see Ida goes, I'm leaving now! And then, <laughs> and then on skateboard, grass. skateboard on grass. You see Galir, so much uh, Galir looks and says, daughter, do not feel shame. Um, and you see that Sandra Lynn goes, goes Oh, sometimes the mood just strikes, sweetie. Bye bye. Oh, uh, that's so gross. You guys are so gross. Get I'm out. not gross. You're, You're gr cute. That's no. what's happening. Um, How does everyone know? What precisely happened? You see, Ida looks over and says, I've committed an error. I told everyone. No, that you didn't commit an error. That's not an error. I just am a private person. Do you wish me to swear an oath of secrecy to tell none of your name ever again? No, I mean... For, for a thousand years of torture, I will keep your name hidden, deep in the shadows. I think I can come up with a better secret for a thousand years of torture to be hanging over your head. Oh. No, 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 a cat's out of the bag, let's keep it out. Let's burn a bag. <laughs> hey, should you know? we figure out how to get Riz back? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's Absolutely. Like to me. Um, Absolutely. Um, you see that uh, uh, Ida says, I will let you go speak to your parents, but um, when you find your biological father's gem, I now know the plane shift spell, and I will help you free him. Thank you. I also think that maybe I might have a real crude version of it, which is just shattering a ruby. Fun. So, I mean, we could double team it. You winked at me again. I didn't catch, <laughs> I didn't catch the meaning, but I'm very excited. Could you, could you explain what was salacious in your previous state? How about later? I would just feel like everyone's watching us, and I'm a very private person. Right, right. Something to look forward to. She's yeah. so right. You see, she looks at you and says, <laughs> uh, and says, you have my feather. You know to call me. Wait, are you going somewhere now? I need to go finish shrinking the compass points so I can move to... What? You're going back to compass points? You just got here! Do you want me to... I'll stay if you want me to stay. Oh my god, don't put that decision on me. <laughs> she, you see, she looks at you and says, she says, I would very much like it. No one's ever asked me to stay anywhere before. Okay, then let me be the first. Please stay. I will stay. Okay, stay. I will stay. Cool. Extremely cool. I'm gonna go break Galir's heart again. I'm going to go um, give a piece of payment to Adine. Okay. Um, uh, you see, as you go watch it to Galir, um, you see Ida walks over to you and says, Oracle, seer. Librarian. You see that uh, she looks and says, Due to your exceptional talent and skill at arcane research, we were able to crack the secret of the plane shift spell together in record time. I was working on something a little bit hidden just in moments of our downtime. An older version of me once said that it was extremely gauche, the habit of wizards to name spells after themselves. And I tend to agree, I think naming a spell after yourself is very gauche. But the idea of having a spell named after you is... Really cool. Extremely cool. Yeah. So I thought, most wizards have lived lives of quiet isolation, entombed before death in their research. But now that I have a friend who's a wizard, I thought maybe it would be, maybe as Fig would say, cute if we, uh, instead of making spells for ourselves, made spells for each other. And I... Um, I made you a spell. Uh, uh, she hands you a scroll. Uh, it is a first level spell called uh, Adine's Furious Fist. Um, I can read it, uh, I'll read it right now. Uh, it's a first level spell. Casting time is a bonus action. Its duration is concentration for one minute. 
Uh, for the duration of this spell, your fist gleams with silvery arcane light, and you may, as an action, make a melee spell attack against a creature within reach of your unarmed attack. The first such, su the first such successful attack during the duration of this spell deals 2d10 force damage to the target, nice. and the target must make a strength saving throw or be knocked prone and pushed up to five feet away from you. Okay. By using spell slots of higher level, the damage increases by 2d10 for each spell slot higher. Oh, and each spell slot? 2d10 for each spell slot. And... Uh, and the failed, uh, on a, and also I the, come back. Uh, the spell, it's <laughs> uh, uh, five more feet for each spell level up. Ah! Um, you see that- uh, I immediately cast it on myself. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> you see that your right fist, um, you see, uh, uh, glows with silvery arcane light. Um, you see, she says, um, one of my favorite things that I've observed about you is that while you are extremely analytical and rational, you also have a deep and profound rage rooted in justice. And I've sensed in you that from time to time, you really want to punch something that offends you. I punch a wall. <laughs> Boom! Uh, a wall, like a, a section of the fence just blasts off with this incredible force damage spell. Whoa, what's going on over there? Whoa. I'm strong now. <laughs> and I have a spell named after me. Cool. Wow. Um, um, cool. Um, uh, awesome. Uh, so you now have this new first level spell. Oh, what am I going to make for you? No pressure. Oh. Um, <laughs> no pressure? <laughs> Exciting amounts of pressure. I'm excited for this pressure. <gasps> um, ah! Fig, you walk over to um, uh, Galir. Oh. Um, Galir, do you want to continue in this? Because I feel like um, you've died a lot. <laughs> Let's talk about how you feel for a second. <laughs> Several you... members of your party have dead parents. Mm -hmm. I am unique in the distinction of having died the most times. <laughs> Yeah, unique, special. Um, after it has occurred to me that in the forest of Silver, according to the scrying done by uh, Adine, uh, vehicles will not be able to travel into the forest. There are no roads, there are no level, level ground of any kind. Um, so perhaps it would be best if someone remained here to look after the vehicles. Okay. Do you think you'll be safe here? It's a town with people that protect it, and I'll be in a house. So, you know, as safe as I ever am. Yeah. Cool. There okay. is a hole in the wall now, so you might want to. Okay, so you're, you're cool with this? Yes. Yes, I am. You're still doing an important job. And there's a lot of good books in there, hot tubs. Cool. I come up. Oh, sorry, I hope this isn't too early, but you have been a rock star intern and we all got you this $10 it's not gift an card. Intern. We what? promoted him. I'm actually what? an assistant. What's his title? Oh, so right. Oh. God, I'm sorry. Rockstar assistant, and we did all pull together. We got you this ten gold piece uh, gift card. Uh, it's for uh, uh, audiobooks. It's an au online audiobook uh, thing that you can get on your crystal. Because we really Which would appreciate be you. Really nice, because you can listen to a book while you're in the hot tub instead of getting your Kindle wet. Yes, that's true. I will have to get a new Kindle. Uh, my old one got mistaken for a Frisbee when I was doing some free yoga in the park. <laughs> you have a round Kindle? That's, but no, <laughs> no, it's rectangular. Look. You brought your Kindle to yoga in the park. I thought I would lay down and read. I'd make a day of it. I, think yeah, I get it, I get it, I'm sense. sorry. I'm sorry, yeah. Um, daughter, I will remain here. Okay. And if you need me, feel free to contact me. I can't imagine that anyone will ever need me, but it would be- I always need you. In fact, I'm really, really sad about this. I wish you could come. Uh, if I can uh, 
take a little uh, bit of your hair, uh, then I can scry on you, and we can. <laughs> so can we do anything other than hair? Weird. Very blood. Weird. Very I mean, I can take some of your blood. That seems it's I strange to ask you though. Yeah. Let's do some blood. I, I actually, you know what? You see, he he takes a little flap of his torn shirt that's oh blood stained. Oh my god. Great. I, I take out a little baggie from my. Uh, Puts it my, in the baggie. My coat. I need you to. Yeah. And um, I wanted to be helpful and. I think I still might find a way to be, and maybe I'll find it here. He gives you a kiss on the cheek and uh, walks back into Holly Hill. Um, How do you take it? I don't know. I mean, he was very adult about it, but he's also an adult. Yeah. You know? I'm sorry. Mm. I came in way too hot with the little gift card. Did he like it? Did he cry? I, really, I, thought, I thought he would cry. Maybe he would cry. I thought he was going to cry for sure. Kristen, Kristen, everyone knows we're traveling with Adai, who has a 10 gold piece jacket of usefulness. Yeah, it's, we just kind of grabbed it out of there. It's like we purposely exactly a gift. What do you I know the guy who's <laughs> got it all? Yeah, but it's, it's not exactly. about the amount of money that he's got. He's got a beret and a chambray shirt. We've anything in the world and we picked something that we thought would be thoughtful. I got him that card that said, Glear, I need you. And on the inside it says, To get me a quarter. <laughs> and there we put a ten. That was piece. hilarious. That was, that was so, so funny. funny. I thought that was so funny. It was funny. like a great reference. I can't wait for him to open it. Yes. It, was, it was a callback. Yeah, to, to yeah. It. Yes. I'm just always trying have. to help him find his calling, and I thought maybe this would be his calling, but he's died maybe nine times. I know. So. I know. I didn't want to let yeah. go, but once all, every single one of you. What do you think Riz would have said if he was here? Do you think he would have argued to keep Galir? Of course he would. Of course the ball would have. The ball loved Galea. All I know, the You're only right. truth I know in this entire world is that the ball loved that Galea was here. I mean, I, yeah, we all did, I know. Yeah. you guys remember all the times he encouraged us to bring Galea along? He would always put up a fight, but he'd always bend because he loved um, having Galea there. Uh, just a little bit. Now, no, don't protest too much. I miss yeah. Riz. Yeah. We have to get him back. We yeah, Speaking yeah. of Riz, we cut back to uh, the plane of Bytopia. Um, your dad gets you to fill out some consultant paperwork, um, and you see that he brings it over to this dude. Um, uh, he comes over to a desk where you see a hound archon, just like sort of angelic, muscular, <coughs> dog-headed angel um, who looks over. Uh, you see he smiles. Uh, you see he says, uh, Riz, uh, this is our commander Fitz. Fitz, this is Riz. Fitz goes, hey, there's the kid, huh? Got your dad in the old Avenged Dad's Club. Way to go, Buster. Thanks. I tried to eat him. He got turned into a boat. Hey, you know what happens to the best of us. Listen, pal, uh, we want to we get you uh, uh, part-time working on the squad. You know, we don't um, make a lot of concessions for prime materials. That, that's living mortals like yourself. But we'd be happy to get you on. Your dad uh, uh, really vouched for you here. And way to go cracking that case, pal. I Thanks. mean, really. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to help in any way that I can. Um, you see, he says, uh, well, he says, you know, we sent your old man here down to the Nine Hells trying to root around for Kalina, but this thing about her being a disease, that really busted this thing wide open. So we feel like our best shot is uh, probably getting you to do the rest of the legwork down there on the prime material. Now, there are a lot of multiversal laws about when celestials and fiends start messing with the mortal world. And we can get in a lot of hot water by going down there ourselves. But now that we've got a mortal here, we feel like maybe you're the guy for the job. Does that sound all right? I'm definitely the guy for the job. You see your old man pats you on the back and he says, that's right. Um, you see uh, that he says, uh, all right, well, um, we're gonna start you out um, on, uh, uh, we're gonna start you out on a stipend. Um, we can either uh, try, we can either give your uh, paycheck to charities of your choice, Inspire, or we can keep it here in a trust fund and turn it into pure faith and good wishes. So up to you. <laughs> Do the faith and good wishes. That seems fun. Perfect. That's great. Uh, so we'll put that into a reserve account. So we'll get that set up. He types something on his little crystal screen. Uh, he says, uh, and we're going to, because we can't send muscle with you, we're going to have to uh, get you suited up. 
Let's get the kid down to isosceles. Um, oh. You see that your dad opens up a pure white doorway of like gleaming crystalline light, walks you through it into this gleaming white void. See, your dad looks over and says, you're gonna love isosceles. Um, you see that this, um, uh, you see that a weird, bizarre, you know like in the Bible when they describe angels as being just like completely inhuman, like fractal images that kind of can't be beheld by mortals? Uh, this um, little thing appears, it's like sort of spinning fractal of energy. And you see it says, <laughs> Agent Gutgack, my goodness, I thought you were deep undercover. And you see your dad says, well, you know what happens with the best of them? Uh, looks like I'm back up top for a spell. Uh, this is my son, Riz Gutgack. Um, you see it says, uh, oh, Mr. Gutgag, hello, hi, my Sosceles. Uh, what are we, what are we doing here? And he says, "Well, uh, my son is going to be doing some uh, covert espionage work for us in the Prime Material, uh, and we're looking to get him uh, decked out, make sure that he's not going in less than fully loaded." Um, you see, Isosceles goes, <laughs> and these just shelves, sort of like Matrix style, shoot out of infinity and become covered with all these like gleaming relics. Um, and you see that uh, your dad starts walking you through uh, and starts outfitting you with a bunch of gear. Okay, <laughs> okay, is so um, yes, yes, uh, yes. You see, he says, okay, uh, take this first of all, takes out a set of little like dull gold bullets in a black clip. Um, you see there are like net bullets, there's like uh, trank darts, there's a grappling gun, a fixture for your arquebus. Uh, you see that he takes you over, uh, he takes you over and says, wow, we're gonna give you the big three that we start our agents off with here. Um, this is an Arcadian watch. Uh, it just looks like a completely normal wrist watch, uh, but it uh, allows you to potentially lock pick um, even magical locks. Um, it gives you advantage on tool checks to escape being bound. It has like a little saw that comes out of it. Uh, and it also, there's a button on the side that allows you to uh, shoot out a laser that does 1d4 radiant damage. Ooh. Um, Mommy's got a laser. A little laser comes out of your watch. <laughs> okay. I've never seen Murph happier. Um, <laughs> yeah, Riz, is, Riz was welling up before, now he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> um, he uh, says, we're also gonna, uh, you see that Isosceles moves over somewhere um, and says, uh, let's, uh, let's get the kid decked out with a, a Seraphim vest and a Grigori tie. Um, you see that uh, they give you a very, it's like a charcoal black front. Well, you know how a lot of vests will have like the silk gold back to them? Uh, it has like a little gold back. On the inside of the gold back, there's a faint outline of wings. Um, <laughs> And you see that this uh, can grant a temporary fly speed mm. of 40, uh, mm. but there's no ascending. So it's like a wingsuit. You right. can like descend gradually. So there's no risk of falling damage ever again for the most part. Oh, he's got a wingsuit. Um, it's like Batman cape. Like you can just glide to where you need to go to. Uh, and he gives you a Grigori Ooh. necktie. The necktie has a small clip in it uh, with a little like celestial eye on it that is hidden underneath the knot of the tie. Your dad looks at you and says, all you gotta do is adjust the tie, pull twice on the on the, uh, the back part, and uh, this can record up to 20 minutes of footage. It gets audio and video, and depending on how you activate it, you can activate it with a detect evil and good effect or a detect magic effect. You won't be able to watch it until you can get back to a viewing room and undo the tie. So you'll have to go review that footage. Can't do it in the moment. Great. Cool? Uh, he gives you the Arcadian watch, the Seraphim vest, the Grigori necktie. Says, how you feeling, Gokak? Uh, amazing. Um, he looks over at you um, and he says, all right. I think we better get you back to your friends, huh? Yeah, but I'll be, I'll be back soon. Not in a fully dead way, but in a fun <laughs> Excited. visit way. You see, he looks at you and says, uh, walks out the door with you, once again on the field. Um, you see, he uh, looks and says, uh, looks over at Fitz and says, Fitz, um, can, we get a, can we get a door open now so we get it to this exact moment on the prime material. You see that Fitz nods and says, yeah, we can do that. 
opens up a door, says, we got it in the moment there. Uh, you want to go for a walk for a sec before we send you back? Yeah. Um, you and your dad go on a walk, and he says, uh, he and you just says, I want you to tell me everything. I have missed the last six years. You tend to, you know, when you come visit when you come visit me at the cemetery, it's the it's the important stuff. But can I can I ask a favor? Yeah. The door's frozen in time now. We can get you back to your friends. They're not waiting. Can you just tell me all the um tell me all the least important stuff? Yeah. I just wanna if I'd have been there, I would have seen all the stuff that didn't matter, and that's the stuff I I miss. Yeah, I, I would love to tell you everything. I got um, a really cool briefcase. I was trying to stuff you in it. Love that. Yeah, it's a cool briefcase. I got um, uh, these business cards that I give out to people and everyone thought it was really weird. And I thought it was- Calligraphy is beautiful. I know, I thought that it would help me make friends, but it didn't, but I, I made friends anyway. You sure did. I like your friends, and you can tell them I said so. Um, you and your dad walk. He just wants to hear all the minutia and all the little stuff of your life at the school. Um, you finally get back to the door after a long time talking, and he looks at you and says, I'm so proud of you, kid. <sighs> you know, there's only one thing that could have made this better. Please give your mom all my love. Of course. I think about her all the time. She misses you too. There's a day on the horizon where we all get to crack the same case together. And I hope that day is as far away as possible. I gotta be honest, this is the best version of the afterlife I could have ever imagined. <laughs> he <laughs> openly cries. He goes, We're just gonna be badass goblin detectives. That's the thing. Yeah, I know I, your mom didn't tell you. She didn't get it. We're goblin badass. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the whole family's yeah. badass. Yes. She was shooting at a dragon while I shot at the dragon, giving me cover and stuff. And if you were there too, we could have got her from both sides, then one of us could have been like. I know your mom didn't want you to walk down this path because she was afraid of losing you, but you're walking down this path and I know more than anything in the world that it's everybody else who's got to watch out for my boy. Thanks, Dad. I love you, son. Love you, Dad. Gives you a kiss. As you walk through the door, you see the light fills your eyes until it's just the dark of his suit and his hand raised fades away. Um, and you guys uh, see a moat of light in Arbery that fills and whew, uh, the light grows and grows and uh, Riz, fully healed, steps through. What? Little angel. <laughs> he's, he's a watch guy now. Yeah. What? I, mean, I look yeah. really cool for a split second. Wait, what? Wow, I met my dad. He's the best in watch what? Guys. I met my freaking no. dad. What? what? I met freaking my dad. dad. He's super cool. He's an under. Hmm. Uh... Mm. I message. I message Riz. What is he? He's an undercover angel. That's so cool. I to the I van. message Everyone, everybody. The van now. Van. Um, wow. Crazy. Wow. Um, how are you guys doing? Oh my gosh. Queer? I've killed okay. Queer. <laughs> um, is he, is he we okay? We got him back, we got him back. Of course okay, we got him back. You just know how much I love Galeer. <laughs> That's all we I know. We knew, we yeah. talked about it. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, uh, I have a lot to fill you guys in on. Just glad you're okay, the ball. It was scary for a second. Right we on. tried to find you. We got your briefcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have your briefcase. Yeah, we that's you. awesome. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. If I could have, if I had any way to reach out, I would have let you guys know that I was okay. But wow, what was heaven like? 
Uh, it was awesome. There was like outdoor working space. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. It's like an you office. You like, have to yeah. have jobs in heaven? <laughs> what? Isn't that usually the point of outdoors is that you don't have to work anymore? Yeah, that's when you go to relax and leisure and those sorts of things. No, 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 no. But you go and you work on what you want to work on. <laughs> Which is, oh, you like I, clock I, in, I, I do filled get in. That. Yeah, I do right. Get that. I, Interesting. Yeah, I did some right, part time like a... work. Heaven sounds weird. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> what would a park be? A park? In heaven. There's just desks and stuff. Huh. Okay. <laughs> it's outdoor working space. Maybe you just saw what your heaven would be. I guess, yeah, I hope that's just one heaven. I hope that other heavens. Honestly, that's the only one I saw. Fine. Yeah, it seems fine. <laughs> <It's like> the... <laughs> Everyone's yeah. so You're scared of dying now. You're going to hell. Um, Riz, I tried to. Improve your briefcase, but I, we didn't have enough time, <laughs> so I just wrapped some tinfoil just... on the head. <laughs> wow, you broke it a little bit. Thanks, Corey. It's a little different. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It didn't do anything. Um, my dad, uh, my dad says he really likes you guys. What? Oh, wow. I'm wow. flattered. That's so nice. That's and right. I, I really like you guys too. So. Oh, we really yeah. like you too. We yeah. got to talk to Calvaxis a little bit. Yeah. Or uh, Goldenrod, and uh, learned a little bit too. Yeah. Speaking of which, does anyone else think it's weird that? Um, that Egfort like gave us the money. Well, Didn't we did. We got it spend? because we won. Right? Yes. But if yeah. it was like potentially, he did, cursed. He did warn us about. Oh, he warned. Dragon us. But, okay. madness. madness. But Calvexis. But then he spent twenty minutes talking about rock angels and that fully. Threw Never. It out of us. Right. Of course. What not. happened with? Anyways, <gasps> the the when when we were talking to to Goldenrod, he was talking about the coin being added to the hoard. Mm -hmm. Do you think? This is just my guess. That coin infected all the other coins? Yeah, I think it did. I think by yeah. entering the stock market, it infected everything it touched. And Should we just give I think away I all our through, money? Through like oh. a series of... But I think we've already spent it, so it doesn't matter anymore. Through a series of messages, I just want to fill you guys in on like the non-personal stuff. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, I guess that my dad might have found her as like some kind of like potion, potion. or something. Oh. And then so we so it's not a she also thing. said She's a familiar. it's not always a sex thing. Oh. Did he and then, okay. and then the other thing was um, that she is the one who set him up to get killed by Calvaxis. Mm. Mm. She said Well that's not surprising. You so filled us in on everything, right? Yeah. So you, your dad said something about <laughs> Like someone from the third ring introduced him to her. Yeah. yeah what do we know who is that? Who it was? Yeah. Who introduced him then? Unless that maybe that's not. Do I know him. anything about the third ring? They're from Falinel, right? Yeah. I mean, your parents would have interacted with them. I mean, what it sounds like to you is that Kalina was introduced into Elven society a couple hundred years ago by mm -hmm. Landrin Lear, mm -hmm. and that. Uh, mm. There's like if they didn't fully eradicate her, she would have mm. been able to repopulate and respread, and that like especially if because Landrin joined the Third Ring was in the Court of Stars, mm -hmm. that like high-ranking elves may have been the most likely to have her like lurking, and she doesn't have to appear to people, so people can right, she can just stay uh -huh. undercover, stay undercover as long as she wants. So the sneaky. Uh, so uh, in other words. Your mom or Aylwin having mm -hmm. come into contact with her is not shocking. You know, like uh, yeah. it, it, you guys ran in all the circles that specifically would have been the most targeted by this. Um, it sounds like maybe Pac uh, coming into contact with her would have been the anomaly. Like the Abernance having contact with Kalina makes kind of the most sense. Mm -hmm. It's um, like a secret society thing. Yeah, maybe. Um, and then also another important thing, um, again, saying this through like messages, is that my dad specifically mentioned that after the picture was taken of her, it mm -hmm. seemed like it took, sapped some of her power or something. Or oh, like and let's make a bunch of copies of the picture. Or get a oh. camera. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we all have our crystals yeah. next time. My, either of you see crystal. her. Oh, oh can, I have I, a, can I go to the... Oh, yes. Oh, go for it. Oh, I have that photo of the... Of the photo? Of, the, of, of the, the goddess. Of the goddess, yeah. yeah. Do I think that that is taking any power away from her? Um, can I do, do like a religion check? Do a religion check. Anyone that wants to can make either like an arcana check. I would also let Gorgug make a tinkerer's tool check. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got a 25. I got a 12. Um, seven. Seven. 
Oh, you got a 25? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm actually also gonna say, Gorga, make that with advantage. And because and there's enough people here that would like help you guys that you should make these yeah, rolls with, I'll, with advantage. I'll, I won't oh, make my roll. Oh, uh, with 15, advantage. 15. Oh, that's a net one. So I got a 25. 20, 25. 22. Uh, religion check? Um, so with the, you're rolling Arcana, right? Yes. Um, first thing you think of with Arcana is you realize uh, if this is with the bypassing of detect magic by being a disease, mm -hmm. what that means is that the disease that is infecting someone has to cast magic all the time. When Pox, like, she couldn't do stuff anymore, what you think is Kalina is incredibly powerful, like a global illusion that can spread to people and do all this stuff is crazy. Uh, you know that she's able to create illusory effects because of what she did with Rog and the cell phone call on Leviathan, mm -hmm. right? But making an effect that anyone who ever looks at a photo of her automatically sees her is something that she has to do ambiently every si to every single person that has her mm -hmm. in their body whenever they do it. That is a static global effect. And just like the pylons in Falinel, doing an effect that is permanent and static mm -hmm. takes a tremendous amount of power. So why is she choosing to do this? Or is she not choosing to do it? You, it might just be that it's a blowing cover thing. If someone takes a photo of her and then they can't see her in the photo, that raises alarms. Um, uh, even though, like, there's no way for her to cast the illusion necessarily on someone that she's not in their bloodstream. Uh -huh. So it's like, okay, if someone sees the photo that, like, you know, the exact thing that happened with Riz. Riz eventually cracked it through a photo mm -hmm. that couldn't be seen I mean, through the sun damage. So like, yeah. there was a hole in her plan, but she just kind of had to hope for the best. Ooh, so maybe if Gorga takes a picture and then That's what I'm saying. takes um, it to wanted, everyone. So, so here's, photo, here's what yeah. it is. With the religion check, you think the mural is not a depiction of Kalina as is. It's about her, this is, this is about her spell casting. But what you think with that religion check is you know the four transubstantiations that were done by the goddess. You think that these curses might be self-reinforcing because they were united by this great transubstantiation. So the more that Golden Horde's wealth spreads and that dragon curse, it also makes sense to you. Calvaxis said, the gold allowed people to cast spells. The coin was the goddess's spell book, right. right? The familiar is the plague, but they're all kind of curses. The spell book turns into a curse with the dragon madness. Kalina turned into a curse that was a plague. Uh, you know that the cottage or whatever it was turned into like a static curse. The sanctum turned into like a static mm -hmm. curse. You think that all of these curses, these four curses might overlap and take the position of like, big global curses, right? That they might be self, uh, not self-reinforcing, but have synthesis between them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like a mycelial web. Yes, that, they, that they're reinforcing each other. So exactly. then who Classic is that mycelial woman? web. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Gorgug, with that 15, when because Adam posits that to you, um, you realize technologically, the way to take the most pictures of Kalina would be to take um, video, of her and that the way to, uh, and that like, honestly like broadcasting video of her to as many people as possible. Obviously people that don't have her in their bloodstream won't be able to see her, but if there was a way to like broadcast video of her, it would weaken her the most if it caught some people that were capable of seeing her. Hmm. I convey over message that I have a way to record her. That's absolutely sick. What? Uh, okay. Wow. So I, I don't want it to slip, so maybe okay. Okay. I have it on my person. Okay, whatever. Cool. I, um, do we think that the, the money that we have is actively endangering us? I think yes, but I, I think it's the action of spending the money that gives us the curse, which we've already done. Maybe yeah. we shouldn't spend any more money, but I don't know. Great. I feel like it's already spread. Right? Yeah, I mean, yes. I don't know if uh, the curse sort of peters out if we stop spending the money or I'll, whether we just have it. Now. As an experiment, Gorgug's gonna go to the Tinkerer's Hall mm -hmm. and uh, just whenever oh, I get, yeah. hi, just for no reason, here's 25,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> How do you have 25? <laughs> Oh, and I'm like, oh. so now they're gonna spend it. But they don't know what it's for. You have to know what the, that it's Dragon Horde. Uh, that is correct. Gorgok has remembered this. Uh, 
dragon madness spreads when people are aware that the gold comes from a dragon's hoard. Ah. Um, uh, so in other words, giving a huge chunk of wealth with no strings attached and no mention of it won't spread it. Uh, the money that Kristen gave to her brothers at the start of the campaign would have just appeared. There'd be no knowledge of it. But anyone that like knew where the money was coming from, that's how the curse would spread. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very cool. So this is just, I found this and it seems like it's yours. I, I think it's- Well, I this think is gonna change thing. absolutely everything! Oh, awesome. Uh, <laughs> absolutely everything! <laughs> you don't have just like a little camera anywhere. <laughs> Why There's it? one in your crystal! Oh, great. Okay, cool. Never mind. Incredible. Jump and click my heels and walk into the sunset. <laughs> cool. Well, Gordon, do you feel different now that you have no money? I don't know. I feel pretty similar. I don't have to carry that much gold around. Great. So everyone, we can keep our money when no one, no one's going to ask us to give our money away. I mean, anymore. most of my uh, money is still in Solace, so I can't give it away. Yeah, I can most give of my money. You guys, I have a crazy idea. Dollars, I have yeah. I think we should have another seafood party. Okay. And I think that we should film all of it and start gaining a following online. <laughs> and then eventually we start seeping in videos that we try to take of Kalina. I see what you're saying. I ah, see what you mean. Go if, viral. If we, we go viral have, with the I seafood. The virus. With the big, so with the big we seafood. We have the virus I now. I certainly agree with you that the seafood is the best way to go yeah. viral. Yes. I mean, if you had to think of anything eye catching, it's Jeez, me on a shrimp robot. slip and yes. slide. Hashtag I'm, I'm a little shrimp. shrimp. We'll yes. Hashtag we'll we'll the crab king. <laughs> exactly. The crab king. The crab, king. The crab king's back. Crab king is back. <laughs> oh, um, I go and give all my money to the tinkerers also. <laughs> Who's going we to, oh, so I'm going to buy all the I diamonds? I still have a bunch of diamonds. Uh, you guys, you guys have, I will point something out by the way. Um, you guys didn't convert all your money to, uh, to gold. So, so you're giving away the gold you have on you in other words. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. we each get 25,000? You just got 20,000. Great. Yeah. So the amount of gold I have is the amount of gold I have. But gorgug has been touring, so he has extra money. Oh, of course. Yeah, I got a couple of what? <laughs> Probably another, I don't know, 300 grand. Yeah. <laughs> 300 uh, grand. Yeah, like um, uh, cool. Um, that night, um, uh, do, uh, or by the way, I don't want to gloss over any of it, but do you guys have a shrimp party that night? Another crustacean party? I, mean, I can't you gloss guys over the shrimp party. I think I mean, we should. We I mean, our little angel returned to us. <laughs> yeah. We're now hanging out oh, with- Oh, sure, we still get a We have a lot to and celebrate. And I found three new jars of horseradish, so I think oh, it's time. Oh, I'm cooking oh, some shrimp. <laughs> so where's the rest of my money? Is it at a bank still? Uh, it's, it's in a bank account. All right, I'm gonna call the bank. <laughs> okay, you call the bank. Hello? Uh, Is this I, the bank? <laughs> uh, you also just have an app. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you still there on the phone? Where are you take? Where are you sending? I gotta go. Okay. Are, you call, are you calling the, ba the bank at a shrimp party? I'm going to. This is uh, the first you, you online banking bank. session in the game Absolutely. of D and D I'm that there's going ever been. Online at a, at I'm going to liquidate. Yep. <laughs> okay, Just cool. Give it to. Is there a give to charity option? Yeah, you can literally go and. Uh, uh, get, yeah, you can give. I do that. What kind of charity? Cool. Um, I guess I'll go on and probably, do the same. Right? What? Okay. What is everyone what kind of doing? doing Has probably everyone lost their minds? Wait, what kind of charity, Gorger? Uh, computers for <laughs> uh, retired people. <laughs> <laughs> retired <laughs> people! That's so good. I okay, you also need that. <laughs> okay, okay, question. Are you actually giving all your money away? I am. Cool. I think I'm doing the same. Fig does the same. People are I, wild. I'm gonna do the same. Riz, what okay, the we do fuck need is enough happening? Diamonds to revivify. Exactly. I actually, why don't we computers for infants? Great, computers for infants. Great. Should we get you keep both you keep the diamonds for revivify. Of course, I keep my money. Okay, great. <laughs> I, 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 I keep my money. I don't have parents. You don't have love parents. Retirement me. aged people, not people who have the accrued the wealth of wealth oh, to retire. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Cool. Great. So um, you guys do that. Uh, and Who's then going you, to buy all the shrimp? Do you have, and then you have your shrimp party later that night? <laughs> I mean, it's Three. a little bit less splashy now that we don't have any money. So I, um, there are just a few shrimp around. I'm gonna go look for some shrimp. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, shrimp so I'm gonna right? point this out now. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna need a. As you guys are giving your giving your vast sums of wealth away, <laughs> so um, uh, go ahead and make a. I'm gonna say, 
Uh, make a pers. Are you, are you guys doing this like live streamed shrimp party? Oh night? hell yes! Yes. Go oh, ahead. What's up? I'm Phoebe and okay. Caster, and welcome to Shrimp Party. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. I'm gonna need a group shrimp, persuasion shrimp, shrimp. check. <laughs> oh, can oh. I make an intimidation check? Well, you I am mean really like, good. Well, three people are online banking. Yes. <laughs> this is a persuasion to make. This is I could have people I could watch. not or have what? predicted that the session would go here. I have no ability. Little beans. Oh, hell yeah. 14. Um, that's 23 total for Riz. I got a 27. Oh. I got an 11. Okay, we're going around. 27. 27. What did Gorgon get? Eight. <laughs> Plus eight. What is, Eleven. Like, what is this for? Uh, can I do intimidation? To go, to go viral. Would you let me intimidate? No. Okay, great. Uh, then that'll be uh, 12. 11. Add, plus 11, what did Riz get? 23. Oh. Wow, the ball is the Crab King, of course. <laughs> well, Fig got, what, you got 27? Uh, well, of course. Okay, so um, you guys, uh, 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 I'm actually gonna say, everyone roll one more time, because do this with advantage. Great. Okay. I think we're boiling shrimp in the hot tub and eating the shrimp. I actually got a 31. 31? <laughs> Back at eight. Six. Little beans. 12 is what 21. I'm 21. 21. Let's stick with the 23. Cool. Um, uh, you guys start live streaming your shrimp party. <laughs> I'll film. Uh, <laughs> you are getting panicked emails from Lola Embers saying, I just got a call from the business manager that you've given away all your money. What is the shrimp party? You're using Fig and the Wait, Sig Fig to like. Why did you give all your money away? You're why like, didn't you just give your you're like, money away? Uh, it you're, infects oh, your horn. Right. Oh, yeah, it infects right. your horn. So, so you're like retweeting all this. You see, there's like, you're doing fantasy Twitter and all this stuff. Uh, uh, because, and you see that people are writing articles, they're like, they're like, figure off Faith and Gorgon Thistle Spring of Fig and the Sig Figs give away all of their wealth in the midst of a shrimp party. <laughs> uh, it goes super viral. Wow. Um, uh, hey, check in this time every week, because we're going to be doing a shrimp party in all new terrain. I assume, is there any bad kid that doesn't have a social media presence? Add I, you have no social media presence. I think I have a really weird one where I like retweet news articles. <laughs> and every time a girl It's like the British Gun Gang Detective Agency, yeah. it's like a business one. Yeah, it has like two followers. Uh, you you surge to 43 followers. Cool. Even though I don't oh, okay, the public ball. figure, I actually am private. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah. But you run the like uh, hang bands but, Twitter. Right? Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. Uh, you ghost run. Uh, you guys, right. okay, I don't know how to say this, but uh, the charity <laughs> shrimp party goes super viral. <laughs> you don't know how to say it. You said it perfectly. Yeah, yeah you just said like it. Exactly what you we said just it. Did. Uh, you see, after the party dies down, Sandra Lynn goes, so guys, we're going to head to the park to the Nightmare King to get this crown back. Uh, <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> uh, I'm, don't worry, Mom, I'm private. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, roll for. Uh, she says, uh, are, are we going to rest tonight and head out in the morning? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yeah. We had a big shrimp party and now um, we'll, I'm all cool. full of shrimp. You guys, <laughs> I'm all long full of rest. Uh, if we're going, uh, we're going in tomorrow mm -hmm. to the Shat Nightmare. So I want to bring Boggy back, but I feel like the Forest of the Nightmare King may be a frog. I just want to protect him after him disappearing. Mm -hmm. So I think I want to bring him back as an owl called Bogalriel, Frog Owlriel. <laughs> How just is just Bog, Bog Owl Bog Owlriel. Bog Owlriel, Frog Owlriel. So it's kind of a froggy just a, owl. The roundest owl you've ever seen. A perfectly you know, spherical like, owl with so it's mu it's seventy five percent eyes. It's just. Woo, woo. I don't know if this is I don't know if this is fake, but I saw online that owls have really long legs. Yes, they do. They do. Wait, wait. I can't tell it's if this is like real. This. I actually read so an article about that. that. Oh, okay. I, uh, I, I, you I, I take Boggy and lift up uh, bring... his feathers, and you see his extremely oh my God. long legs. Um, you, Creepy. You it's just bring, eyes and legs. And that's uh, it. You bring Boggy back. Um, <laughs> the next morning, you guys go to the Briar Wall at the edge of Arbor. Mm. Um, <laughs> as you do so, uh, Galir oh. sees you off. Uh, at, the, at the borders of the forest. Um, uh, the hang van is staying behind. The, uh, the hang uh, tracker looks at you and says, I'll go back to doing Moonhavens. We won't, the cool. van just won't Great. be able to travel through the forest. I forgot if we 
Do we want the gym to bring the gym with us? The gym? I mean, of maybe. The hang van? The gym. The, oh, the, oh, the gym. gym. The celestial. Oh. That could be cool. I'm, I could probably shatter it out of whatever it's been. No, it's not shattered. It's a, it's a it's sapphire on a ruby. I'm powerless to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. I'll defer. I don't know if I think really... we should. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Do you want to bring it? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, when we go back to the van, maybe I'll get my weird uh, painting that I stole from there. <laughs> maybe I'm gonna ship in a few art the... supplies. Okay, maybe cool. Maybe we can put the gem this ha- this, into... All this happens, and then something else happens, which is this. <laughs> should uh, we try you to guys... put the gem into baby? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to say no. I don't want to. All of this just has to stop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys go to Arborly and move through. Um, <laughs> Uh, you see that you take the gem out of the van. Um, uh, Retrot is still with you. Baby's still here as well. Um, as you move uh, through this place, uh, Fabian, you have to make a decision, which is um, the hangman. Which is the hangman. Depending on the terrain, the hangman can maybe come with you through for a short portion. But if you get into that insane like subterranean tree area, the hangman won't be able to travel through there. Um, uh, what is the call Fabian wants to make? Hangman, sure. uh, you're too important to me uh, to bring you into the forest. You belong in, in long expanses of land where you can run wild and do your thing, and it's just going to be too tight in there. I shall remain and prevent the one known as Galia from dying. Protect him. He is the chosen one. <laughs> And he will chart the destiny of the known world. <laughs> Can I, I, I just want to tell them that, like, I guess we could just see the tinkerer to watch them. Oh, yeah, well, you have, we oh, also we'll talk to the, the tinkerer. tinkerer. We gave them, like, a ton of gold, so they should, they should I'll be take in, a, in, a, in a, you know, yeah. I love you. I love you. Um, <laughs> well, that felt weird. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, the six of you. Um, the six of you, um, Sandra Lynn, Baxter, Rog, Tracker, Ida, Squad. and Retrot enter along with the familiars, um, uh, which are uh, Bogal Riel, uh, Gaff, and uh, Baby. <laughs> um, you guys enter. Ida's coming with us? Ida, you see that Ida gets to the. Is the, that a problem? See, no, Ida, no. Ida looks dope says, as hell. Says, you asked me to, to stay, and yeah. I will stay. Yeah, I mean, unless you don't want to stay, in which case that's also totally fine. She looks. Ida, please come. Okay, I'll come. I'll do it. Um, you arrive at the Briarwood. Why you jump in on that, huh? Because <laughs> she's my friend. I know, but it's like I was kind of having a thing, you know. You know, she's kind of like. Okay, <clears throat> don't, you don't own her. She's. I can be friends with her. I know. I'm just saying, like, I was kind of trying to. Forget this is upsetting me. Please stop. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you see that um, you arrive at the Briar Wall as you approach a fig. The emblem that is normally not even present burns into existence on your forehead, and you feel the ability to open a passageway for your friends into Silver. Very cool. You guys move through the burning doorway in the thorns. As you move through, you arrive on the other side of the briar wall. (laughs) Endless, twisted, dark forest. Uh, Barely any light appears from the canopy. Um, You walk through. As you do so, um, you feel the malevolence of this forest. As you begin to walk further into the forest, and you get about you know 40 or 50 feet away from the briar wall fig, as you leave the sort of nearness of the wall, you see that the burning door closes back up, and you guys are in the forest of the Nightmare King. Um, what do you guys do as you enter? Um, anybody have a compass or anything? Or? Oh, our library cards are compasses. Right. Do we have some sort of find, locate person, or do um, we have an idea? I can scry. Um, also, you guys will, will recall that you guys 
had, that you can make the tincture with the different things that are here oh, to right. remove oh. Kalina. Cool. Can so can we start looking chance? for some yeah, of those? Yeah. Um, sure. Here's the deal. You see the three ingredients you need. Actually, anyone that can make a nature check, make a nature check can first. Can Sandra Lynn also make a nature check? Yes. Can I make a survival check? Sandra Lynn just got a nat 20. Nice. You guys are, hey. uh, Sandra Lynn looks and says, okay, the three things that you need for the, everything else that Ada can get out of her jacket, we need star moth chrysalis. That's going to be growing up in the canopy. Okay. Uh, we need harrow gray nectar. That will be in deep foliage, vines, ferns, things like that. And then we also need uh, lung reed pollen. That's going to be near water, usually stagnant water. Um, you see that she puts up a finger, says, stagnant water's that way. Um, we can also, there should be some deep foliage over here. And the star moth chrysalis, it was just someone needs to go up and get that. Okay. I'll um, do it. <laughs> I will go, Fabian. <laughs> Come on, Gorka. Oh, you're just climbing. Can you I can cry cast while fly you on you. Sure. Well, I, just don't wanna, I, I just, just don't want to waste any climb. spells. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you yeah. climb? Yeah. Uh, I can send uh, Boggy up with you. Cool. Yes, we'd love to have uh, fro Owl Ariel. Boggy. <laughs> owl Ariel. Uh, cool. So you two guys are going on canopy duty. Who's going on <laughs> stagnant water duty? Who's going on? Um, uh, the deep foliage. Stagnant water duty. That sounds um, like a job. For okay. <laughs> I'll do deep foliage because I have dark vision. Cool. Oh, I have dark vision. Well, I can do that. Okay, okay great. So then me and um, Kristen will go. Well, you guys take Raga or Raga oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. or Tracker. Yeah, we'll take both of them. Or we'll take, I guess let's split up evenly just in case anything bad happens. Um, yeah. We can um, take Tracker. Sandra Lynn. He's gonna go with Fig and Adine. Okay, cool. They have great. Ida as well. Oh, great. Um, Ida is actually gonna, uh, yeah, Ida I think will go with um, uh, with Fig and Adine as well. And then Rog is gonna go up into the canopy, canopy with the rest of the Hoot boys. Hootgrow. Hootgrow. Hootgrow squads went up there with Boggy. <gasps> That's so many pull-ups in the last 24 hours. I mean, exactly. <laughs> My back is feeling absolutely yeah. jacked. <laughs> you're looking shredded. Oh, you're also um, looking cool. shredded. Cool. Uh, we're going to start <laughs> with the canopy squad. Both of you guys give me survival checks. I've been rolling like trash. Nine. Uh, survival? Yeah. Uh, 13. Uh, 13. Nine. Nine. You guys oh. keep looking. Rogs. Can Bogaril give me advantage? Sure, 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 sure. Worse. Uh, you guys are, are having a hard time finding any. Uh, you see that Rog goes, um, huh. damn, I'm having a hard time finding this stuff up here. Um, uh, you guys uh, continue to go search for it. Both of you guys make um, perception checks with disadvantage for me. Uh, can I look to Gorgug uh, and say, I believe in you, Spring Break. Oh, thank you. Uh, give you 1d6 Bardic Inspiration. Cool. Oh, perception checks. Disadvantage. 15. 15. I rolled a three, and on this d6, a one, so four. Wait, oh, perception. Uh, so nine. Um, uh, that's a nine? Cool. Um, mm -mm. Uh, you see. Uh, it's bad music. Uh, you guys that are going off into the deep foliage, head off into the deep foliage looking for it. Uh, you see um, Sandra Lynn looks up a tree a little bit uh, and goes, I think it might be a little bit higher. Uh, she's gonna make a survival check herself. Oh, you see she goes, ha ha, jumps up on Baxter. You see she flies up over the tree to where some, uh, she thinks some is gonna be. Um, uh, and then Riz, Kristen, and Tracker are all traveling. Um, uh, who's got the, the celestial in the gem? I would imagine Gold. I mean, if I took it out of the van, maybe cool. I have it. Um, yeah. You, you and Fabian both see the, that the gem goes. Uh, you see an image of a cobweb filled, horrifying cottage. Old, ancient witch's hut in the gem. You hear a voice go, Oh, not, not chill, not chill, not chill. And the gem loses all of its glow. Gorgug, uh, what's uh, happening? I think a, it feels like a witch did something. <laughs> Uh, uh, I draw my bla uh, blade. Uh, let's get down. Neither of you guys can see Rog. Rog? Rog! 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 Spring break, Rog! 
Crab King, where's my Crab King? Um, uh, uh, you hear Baxter flap off into the forest and quickly the noise fades and you don't hear Sandra Lynn anymore. You don't hear Baxter. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm gonna go, I, my spells are not suited to this kind of stuff. I uh, bet you guys are- Ida, Ida this. looks and says, I can fly after her. I... What's wrong? What's um, going on? I'm, are you okay? Uh, why are we in a house? What? We're Is this not normal? in a house. We're at, no, we're Is at this at normal? <laughs> Vanishes. What the a house? house? What the heck happened? Where did she go? Um, I have her feather. Um, uh, you and you uh, <laughs> are you. over near some stagnant water. Um, you both look in. You and Tracker look in, and in the reflection of the water, Kalina looks back up at you. I take out my crystal. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nice photographs. How does it feel to be the Nightmare King's little lieutenant? How does it feel to be in a forest where dreams are real? Oh, you see something you don't like, Tracker? You see Tracker looks up and you realize all three of you are seeing Kalina at the same time. You see Tracker looks up and goes, no, I can't even see the sky. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, and Tracker begins to change. Galena goes, full moon, tough break. Um, you guys cannot see a full moon, but Tracker can. And the full moon is real enough that she begins to change. I'm so sorry, but I grabbed Tracker and Riz and I dimension door out of the forest. You are too far into the forest to get oh, back outside the wall. Damn it. I'm okay. Do it um, one person. I, I guess I'll, uh, sorry, Tracker. Um, I want to shoot her with my grappling thing. You have a tranquilizer too, cool. right? Yeah. Um, both of you guys, as you you go for your weapon and you go for that, um, you see. Uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll first. Okay. I can help action. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I feel this is gonna be bad. Oh, oh, you just uh, it! Yeah, you don't say it. that, bro. Fif fifteen. Um, fifteen psh, flies off. Um, suddenly, Tracker is just. You see that Tracker's the the, the her, her body in your line of sight disappears, and it disappears as though moths were invisible moths were flying in front of her, and where they crossed over your ability to see her when they left, she was gone. I uh, reach in the area and see if I can feel her, if maybe she's just turned invisible. Um, uh, you sw give me an attack roll with disadvantage. Okay. What do I add to my attack? I never attack. Oh, 10. There. Um, you see Kalina goes, uh, appears again to both of you. She goes, Tracker is chasing you down to kill you. Hmm. You see, she says, I mean, what she thinks is you. She's gone. Rog's gone. Sandra Lynn's gone. I told you, if you came to the forest, I'd kill you. Dreams are real here. So for example, Riz, you take four points of damage, and you know the damage is real. Um, as I wince, I pull on my tie to record. Um, you start recording her. Um, you see that she stops for a moment and goes, Did that really just hurt you? Um, she uh, disappears from sight, and a moment later, Kristen, you take one point of damage. Um, you can feel claws against you, like a cat scratch. Um, and they're, you know they're coming from inside your own body. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> what? She's fucking flirting with me! <laughs> you see, she goes, no, Kristen, that's funny. I'm going to kill you here now, because I'm going to keep tearing you apart from the inside, and I don't 
think you can stop me. I was very clear. I, I've never double dealt you. I told you in Leviathan, you try to get the crown, I'm gonna kill you. Is that what your superior told you to say? Yeah, my superior, Kristen. I work for the Nightmare King. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, I guess... A job's a job. Hey, yeah. this is gonna take me a long time. She hits you again for four points of damage. Um, uh, I start furiously looking around for what we need to find in this water, I guess. Um, uh, you guys both continue to start taking damage. Um, you will not be able to make tinctures in time while you are here. Uh, we're going, like, you, you can, this, like, disease is, like, ripping you apart. Mm -hmm. um, each second, yeah, yeah. Each second. Uh, you have a lot of hit points, so it will take a while, but you're being killed by something that you don't know how to hit. Um, I'm going to need, uh, Gorgug and Fabian, what do you guys do? Uh, um, we gotta find this stuff, right? Yes, we just uh, while we're up here, can exactly. we make another perception check? Well, yeah, wait, we can't make the. We don't know that, do we? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, we should. Uh, we, let's look for it and then like try great. to get back to everybody. Uh, it's spring break. I believe in you. Uh, Thank one you. last, one last survival check, and then you guys are gonna run down and find everybody. Yes. yes. Cool. Okay, survival twenty three. You find a star monster. Did you find it? I think so. Okay. Fine. Yes. Get the fuck um, out of these trees. Uh, Fig <laughs> and uh, Adine. Uh, what are you guys doing? What were we looking for in here? Uh, I got really distracted. I, oh God, I don't even remember. The pollen or the nectar? Uh, I, I don't know what to say here. Can you use your feather to find Ida? I take out my feather uh, and just say, and I speak her name. Ida Eggfort, I, I really want you to come back. Please come back. The feather has lost its shine. Why? Why did I freaking invite her? Why did I even think that this was an okay thing to do? No, she's rad. She's much more powerful than any of I us. I know she's much more powerful. Um, uh, what are you guys doing in this moment? You, Sandra Lynn is gone. Ida is gone. Da. Um, can I look through yes. what uh, Boggy's look eyes and see what the the lads are doing? Uh, freaking out because Rog is gone, and they just found the star, star Moth Chrysalis. Uh, okay, Rog is also gone, but they found the Star Chrysalis. Let's look for the, the moss that we have to okay. find. Uh, give me uh, uh, give me one more thing for the nectar. Okay, uh, Bardic Inspiration. Oh, uh, thank what, you. what are we looking for? Uh, you're looking for Harold Grey Nectar. Uh, sorry, what, what is this check? Oh, uh, I don't even need it because I got... Oh, I mean, I got a 21. You find the nectar of the flower, pull it out. Uh, Kristen and Riz, you are both being ripped apart by this thing. Yep. Um, uh, you know what? I start, uh, fuck, I only have one of these per time. I cast Greater Restoration on Riz. <laughs> Choosing Riz over yourself, you cure Riz of the plague of the Shadow Cat. Uh, Riz, you f suddenly feel the attack stop on you and double on Kristen. Fuck, oh. you need to find Tracker. Uh, I start at the prayer of uh, prayer of healing. It's gonna take 10 minutes. I don't know if I'll last. You'll be but... dead by then. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, um, we are going to... I mean, he, he, can I just cast, I mean, can I play? I don't know if anyone can hear me, but I, I have like counter charm. Can I just play my counter charm thing to give people an advantage on stage against you guys, and being charmed? As, are you assuming you're trying to find all of each yes, other? Yes, I think like, yeah. Riz, like, guys, you watch the wounds gosh, begin to appear on Kristen's face. You guys find yours, you guys find yours. You begin to run. You hear from every corner of the forest. <laughs> and for the first time, you all see an image of a crowned skull. That's all for this episode of <laughs> Fantasy High. Tune in next week, gang. Bye-bye. You suck. <laughs> <laughs>